Boop.
boop. Hello. Hello, chat. How are you all doing today? Welcome. Welcome. Are you ready? Hmm? What is this? Um, it's Sag, but it's Madge. That's what that emote is. It's a Madge. It's a Madge Sag. We also got uh, Praj, Prage. We got Prage, Mage, and Sage. They're all. They're all wonderful people. They're all one little nice family. The whole Holy one little nice. Shut up, me. Shut up, me. You're not allowed to talk. You're not allowed to talk today. I don't allow it. Yeah, we have the announcement later today. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let me update my title. Is it a face reveal? not a face reveal it's not a face reveal <laughs> hold on I have to ping discord Is it Jade Panties? Uh, no, because y'all have not hit 20,000 subs and maintained it for 30 days straight. Y'all have done horrible. Horrible. Maintaining wasn't part of the bargain. It was. You are required. We tried. Well... It is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have altered it to pray. I do not alter it further. Anyway, Chad, today we're going to be checking out a new game. It's called Loop Hero. It's a very interesting game. And I'm pretty excited. I am pretty excited. Man. 
I'm ready. Let's do it. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just jump into it, chat. Let us jump into it. And yes, this is the full this is the full game. Mr. President, I mean Baru. After nuclear war, supposing the commie rats have stashed away some epic Rimworld plays and we did not. When they come out of caves in 100 year, they take over. My Fuhrer, we must not allow Rimworld shaft space gap. Loops, brother. See we got here. Loop arrow. Thank you for the five hundred bits defense, homie. Thanks for gifting five subs. Bunny has a knife. Oliveira, a turbo Tora, Mister Maoshi, Blow Jack, Abnet, Animated Maniac, uh, Day, Zach Reven. Thank you, thank you. Pixel fonts. Irez fonts. Dyslexia friendly fonts. Not gonna lie. Impressed by that. I like it. I like it. It's great for people like me. I can read! I can read! The great Chalupa King, Seraph Dutch. Select save. Start. The stars in the sky are going out. One by one. But no one notices it. No one can stop it. I'm racing to the last place where there is still hope. I need to make it before... Before it's too late. Sounds of agony will quickly fade. The world will be destroyed. Even the memory of it will be gone. And even if there is absolutely no chance of bringing it all back. There will always be someone who is willing to do the impossible. In a place without space, without time, without memories. Where am I? I can't see anything except this path. My head is killing me. I remember only a skeleton with a staff in the sky. This darkness was coming from him. Did he destroy everything around here? Just standing here won't do me any good, I guess. To change between adventure, traveling through the map, and planning, stop mode. The void is here to claim you all, Rue. Time to be Rue Snap away. Uh, press the switch, right click, or space. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Alright, we'll do right click. I hope I'll be able to find some shelter before nightfall. If such a thing as night even exists without a sky, of course. Pay attention to the day progress bar uh, at the top of the screen. New enemies usually appear at the end of the day. Continue your journey by changing the game modes. Space, right click, mode switch. Day progress. Map completion. When this bar is filled, the boss of this chapter... Oh, wait. The boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile. Ooh. A living ball of slime. Quite a nuisance. They digest anything they can. Hey. I remember this creature. Maybe I just need to freshen up my memory and everything will go back to normal. 
Traveling, fighting, and most other actions are done automatically. The player can't affect them directly. Press anywhere to continue. It's hard to fight with your bare hands. I think it's the weapon in the remains of this thing. It's not fully digested. You have an item in your inventory uh, and an item slot. You know what to do. Equip an item to continue. Axe, four to six damage. I think I remember uh, that there was a grove nearby. Or maybe these, are these even my memories? Or do they belong to that slime? You can use cards that are left after defeating monsters to add various new objects to the map. That's what planning mode is for. Drag the card to a suitable space to remember the land. Grove. A gentle rustle of leaves, a crack of a dry branch, and a feeling of being watched. Spawns a rat wolf every two days. The wolf can move to an adjacent tile. Forest Rat Wolf. I was right. Some emotional stress, a few colorful images, and a bit of adrenaline, and everything will be forgotten like a bad dream. Or remembered as a bad. Damn, it's good that nobody's listening. You can get new items and cards during battle. As you probably already noticed, some items have unique abilities, as do most of the cards. By hovering over an item or card, you can inspect its properties. Equip a new weapon and place a new card on the map to continue. So same damage, but has 9% evasion. All right, we've got the forest. Uh, a thick forest. Nobody knows who or what could be lurking inside. It makes you a little bit nervous. Cool. Rock. It's a magnificent, uh, its magnificent appearance gives you strength. Plus two HP. Plus two HP for every adjacent rock or mountain. Ooh. Great. So there was a mountain over there. And here is a forest. The world is just like new. The branches and stones in my backpack are a sure sign of that. Some of your actions will yield resources that will that you will need later on, but not right now. But that shouldn't stop you from looking at them right now. Continue your journey by changing the game mode. Let's see. Oh, show hide the resources found during the expedition. Preserved rock, apparently untouched by the Lich's curse and thus suitable for building despite the shapelessness of the world. Stable wood, a log that somehow managed to keep its structural integrity despite the general chaos. Yep, rock. Uh, Flash Freeze, but uh, Baron, Yiggs, uh, but daddy, Sir Siona, UJ, thanks all for some. appreciate that. I think it's time to get some rest. The game itself is a journey on a looped path. Only you will decide when it's time for your hero to return to camp. Either you or the fangs and the claws of your enemies, of course. You can retreat almost any time, but a special animation will let you know when it's safer to do so. Retreat to the camp by pressing the button. The thought of leaving the battlefield and going back to your cozy camp has passed through your mind. What a timely idea. The camp is just around the corner. Retreat. You will keep all resources. What if I want to stay? No, I have to leave. It's cold and dark here. Small fire can solve both these problems. Nice place to set up camp. This is when all resources you've gathered will come in handy. Who would have thought? You have just enough wood and stones to make a campfire. What a nice coincidence. Build a campfire using the building function while in camp. 
Press the build button, select the campfire, and place it. Build. Ooh. Cool. Campfire. Congratulations! You've beat this annoying tutorial. You can now start your first expedition. Or not. Do as you wish. Click anywhere to complete the tutorial. Campfire. A cozy campfire. Warm and cozy. Monsters keep away from it. So it's a nice spot to have some rest between your travels. It's also the center of your camp. And the starting point of your adventure. The hero restores 20% of his max HP upon entering the campfire tile. What else can I build? Nothing. There's an herbalist hut. There's a smithy. There's a kitchen field. Very important place for any camp. If your nose isn't lying, there's good food here. 10% to the campfire's healing power unlocks the blood grove. The hands of the herbalist always remember how to mix dried herbs and brew healing potions. Potions heal 4% of max HP. You can take up to three potions with you. Two potions are refilled at the camp. Unlocks the swamp card. There's always work for the blacksmith. Apocalypse or not. Let's you start expedition with basic warrior skill. Unlocks the ability to craft tools for the camp if the supply depot is built. Expedition menu. Start. This path. Everything is wrong, but I remember. It looks like a completely different place, and it's empty again. Do my actions have any meaning? Like I have a choice. If I need to give up and cry eh, to save the world, I'm the worst savior of all. Let's do it. All right. So we got meadows. Earth covered with a thick carpet of grass. Nothing really interesting. Unless you're a cow, of course. Heals 2 HP at the start of each day. Beacon. A worthless landmark in a world with no direction. 40% movement speed within its range. 20% attack speed for all units. That's got pretty good coverage. Yeah, we'll do that one. And then Meadows. Uh... Okay. What is this? Ration. Small amount of food. Surprisingly, it can still satisfy one's hunger. These things uh, are a real luxury now. 12 rations from a whole food supply. All right. Wait, does the slime also get... Oh, I guess the, the beacon also buffs everybody's attack speed, including the enemy. Max HP, attack speed, and evasion. Very nice. Burp. Slime. 13 HP, damage, attacks per second. Artificial life, liquid, attack speed, 4% damage, attack speed. Spider cocoon. Spawns a spider on an adjacent tile once a day. Put it right there. Spiders. All right, damage to all. Vampirism. Vampirism sounds nice. And a sword. Oblivion. A bit of the lich's magic causes any uh, causes anything to be totally forgotten. Erases any established tiles. Erases monsters from the road. Okay, so that's a delete the delete the tile button. All right. It's also another beacon. Oh, tab out of the game. 
Uh, sure. Why not? Get another beacon down. Magic damage. I'll keep the vampirism. Spider! Max HP? Like one extra max HP. I'd rather keep the other stats. Nice. What's this? Plus two magic damage, damage to all, and regen. You have two ring slots? I only have one ring slot. Grove. Spawns a rat wolf. Alright, I'll put that there. Uh, a rock. All right, well, let's put that there. Mm -mm. Mountain. It's like a rock, but really big. Plus five HP for adjacent rock or mountain. Ooh. Okay, let's put that in the center then. Yeah. Now we got some more meadows. Perfect. It's like a rock, but very big. Uh, four shields. Okay, more meadows. Now we're healing 10 HP per day. Boom, boom, boom. Put the meadows next to the rock for better meadows. Oh. Flowers get a feel for the world and bloom with pleasant smells. Plus three HP per day. All right. Let's put that grove next to this grove. We'll just have a nice big old grove. What's this? A place for the dead and for the living occasionally. Spawns a skeleton every three days. Okay. Well, there's another mountain, so we'll put that next to this one. Perfect. Another meadow. Perfect. What's this? Treasury. A thick wall guards all kinds of riches from thieves and previous owners gives a random resource after placing anything on an adjacent tile can't be built adjacent to anything all right well, let's put you over here also try not to spoil what things do let me just let me just get into it battlefield it smells of blood and steel spawns a chest at the start of each loop enemies on adjacent tiles can become ghosts. All right. That's got defense on it. Sure, let's take defense. Is that a better weapon? By one whole damage it is, you betcha. All right. There's another meadow. So can I put the meadow next to the treasury? Ooh, nice. Scrap metal. Pieces of metal that survived the lich's curse. Sometimes this is all that remains from armor or a sword you haven't looked at for a while. 13 pieces of scrap metal from a one bar of stable metal. Noticeable change. This is enough to turn a caterpillar into a butterfly, a seed into a sprout, or a drop of water into steam. Will turn, uh, will turn itself into something else too if you collect enough. Twenty changes form a complete metamorphosis. Road lantern. A small spot of light 
in this grim world. Decreases the maximum number of monsters on adjacent tiles. The effect of lanterns can stack. All right, let's put it right here. Perfect. Ooh, a chest. Mm-hmm. Ooh, level two shield. Three extra defense. Spawns a chest at the start of the loop. Enemies can become ghosts. Okay. Oh, we have more rocks. Cool. That's a huge increase in damage. Four to six to 14 to 22. Up like that. Nice. Oh, got a level one, level four thing here. 16% evasion. I'll take that. Mm, it's got a lot of HP. But then I lose the two defense. I think I'll keep the defense. Even though that has a lot more health. Even in this idle game, Baru got preferred streamer bonus loot chances. Room ad slap. Well, let's put the cemetery next to the other cemetery. Put this grove next to that grove. All right. Ooh, hold up. Two less damage on the top end, but four magic damage. Nice. Another battlefield. Hmm. Let's we'll put a battlefield here. What's this? Blood path. Not only ghosts are created on the battlefield, it spawns a blood clot every four days oh so if, if two battlefields overlap it creates a new tile okay that's pretty cool vampire's mansion hungry eyes follow your every move through the holes in the roof adds a vampire to battles on adjacent tiles all right, well, let's, let's put a vampire next to the groves. I'm sure that won't backfire horribly. More vampires? Sure, why not? Let's put more vampires in. More rocks. What do we got here? Counter and evasion. Counter sounds nice. That sounds pretty dope. Oh. Ghost. Undead. As a soul. Do, 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 do. Two ring slots. You'll notice that it's it's grayed out, and I can't actually use it. Mm, another mountain. Ooh. A stone giant could support the sky itself if it weren't already gone. Plus 120 HP. Plus 5 HP for every adjacent mountain slash rock tile. Spawns a harpy every two days. Okay. Thanks. Oh, what's that? Goblin camp. The sound of backstabbing can be heard from miles away. Spawns a goblin on the adjacent tile once a day. Appears for every 10 mountain or uh, 10 mountain slash octopus. Tiles. Yes. Ah. 
Yep. Ah. Well, let's just keep making this. Let's just keep making this cemetery. There we go. More max HP. Ooh, a level five shield. Nice. That's even more defense. I've got 20 defense now. Back off, human. Vampire. Where are your lands? If your farmers need help, I would be glad to offer it. No more lands. No more flock. Only hundreds of years of emptiness. And hundreds of years of hunger! Save yourself while you still can. I don't know how long I will be able to keep my head straight. What hundreds of years are you talking about? Your mind is easy to trick, but you can't trick my hunger. Demands its share. Every sip, every drop of blood will go to satiate it. I'm too weak. You can help me, and I will set this crumbled world right. Right. I'm doing this not just for myself, but for everyone. In the name of good, so be grateful for my hard work and just let me bleed you dry. Vampire. Undead. Vampire has a soul. 30% vampirism. Vampire aura. All enemies that are not objects or artificial gain the vampirism effect. 10%. Cool. Yeah, he heals for a lot. Uh, let's give ourselves some vampirism, you know? Vampires often uh, owed our lands. They kept the peace and helped our settlements to prosper. But this won't do at all. Now they're just pale shadows of their former selves, both physically and mentally. Apparently the blood of other creatures can't sustain them. He wasn't joking about the hunger. Even the creatures that stand near him are imbued with the power to devour someone else's life. More rocks. Alright. Another treasury. Cool. So do I get more stuff for putting it like here? Yeah, I do. Okay. So we gotta fully surround it. Oh, level three chest. Damage to all, counter, and a ton of max HP. There we go. Ooh, that's got 13% vampirism. More vampirism. I'm taking a I'm taking a lot more damage. Stop. Where do these goblins come from? I don't remember remembering you. We remembered ourselves. Now give us all you've got. <sighs> you have no idea what's going on, right? Why don't you help me restore order in this world first? And then you can do anything you want. Goblin must rob. No other order in world. Fair enough. Guess I don't have any valid objection here. Oh, wait. I do have one. How about... Death! Damn, this guy attacks fast. Uh, 1.32 attacks per second. Living has a soul. Rage. Enrages after an ally dies. 30% damage. Ooh, a level 5 chest. 12% vampirism, regen, and more HP. I'll take it. Uh, it's got four less defense, but 9% chance to counter. That sounds nice. Let's do it. It's strange how these creatures appeared on their own. Maybe it means everything is actually not so bad. 
and that the world is trying to restore itself. Or that even the apocalypse isn't enough to get rid of some pests. I don't know if I want to add more stuff to the board because I'm pretty sure, like, each loop is killing me uh, just a little bit more than the previous loop. So I think I'm just going to let this run its course now. Maybe try and get some HP. Get more meadows so that way I heal more per day. got a lot less damage. Ouch. I don't know if I want to take seven less damage. I mean, those stats are nice, but... Alright. Ooh. That was a lot of loot. Nice. And another treasury. I'll put it right here. Bum, 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 bum. Orb of Expansion. Nice. Ooh, what's this? One less defense, but more vampirism. Sure. More, more vampirism. That's a lot of healing. More. Oh, it's a mimic. Living. All right, let's heal up. Now. Yeah, I think we're not going to put any more stuff on the ground because we are we are kind of dying. All right, if it's just 1v1, I I heal more. All right, let's put that in between the two. Perfect. I could remove some stuff actually. Yeah, let's use some of these oblivions to remove some stuff. Oh, I had a full hand. Memory fragment. Rumors, myths, and some delusions. It will take weeks to understand it all. And it will take years to decide if you really need this. Ten fragments from a book of memories. Alright, well, let's delete the goblin camp. Yeah, let's delete the goblin camp there. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You're gonna want that oblivion for later? Hmm. Oh. Level six gear? Yeah, but it doesn't have any stats on it. Although it's got almost 10 extra defense. Hmm. Yeah, I think we gotta take that. There's a level, oh, there's a level six axe. I didn't see that. Oh, that's also got 10 defense. You know what? Let's combine both of those, giving us 33 defense. There we go. Now I'm tanky. Nice. All right. Yep, rock. No. What do you mean, no? You want to save the world. You want to ask for help. Our answer is no. How did you... But why no? We see far away. We see deep inside. For a long time, there has been just emptiness instead of sky. But it doesn't stop us from seeing. 
your saving of the world is one-sided and naive. Each person sees their own way of saving the world. That's why no one will ever join you. Fine. I don't fully understand it, but tell me your version. What does save the world mean to you? My progeny and my kin. For them to be strong and to live. It's a part of the cycle of life and death. It is life itself. It is the world. I will kill you and feed your remains to my starving younglings. And life will go on. And how many lives does your blade give birth to by killing again and again? Only one. I don't want you or your children to die from starvation. Please, try to see reason. If my mission succeeds, harpies can have all the sky and all the hunting grounds they need. I can't feed my children with your beautiful words. It's time to say goodbye. Harpy. Living as a soul. Vampirism. Tax feed. Yeah. Ooh. I kind of like the 10 defense on that pole arm. We're going to keep that. I feel awful. By fixing one evil, I'm becoming a source of another. There's no home for harpies except the highest mountains, but there's no food there. I can't imagine how they managed to survive if their mountain uh, were cut from reality. A little less defense, but damage to all. Let's do that. Ow, these guys are fucking me up. Ooh, 15% vampirism? I heal so much. Ooh, what's this? Extra HP, magic damage, counter chance, and regen. At least 10% vamp or 12% vampirism. Yeah, let's do it. Magic damage and damage to all. I want to keep my vampirism. Wow, he hits for 33. Damn. Defense, attack speed, and counter. Yeah. Less vampirism, but more magic damage and damage to all. Sure. To every person telling me that I have two ring slots, I literally cannot drag it. I only have these four slots, and that's it. Level 6 weapon. Got less damage, 3 defense, and regen. Level 4 shield. Now nah, I'll pass on that. Mm -hmm. Alright. More metal shards. Cool. Oh. Turn into a ghost. Uh, no, we'll keep our current chest. Mm, nah. Put another rock down. Oh, that's going to summon a goblin army. Do, 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 do. Alright. Yeah, so we don't want to put any of this stuff down because I'm barely beating the loop, essentially. The loop counter affects enemies' levels, affects the level of equipment found. Ooh, that's got some pretty hefty damage upgrade. 
But then I lose my vampirism, which is my only source of healing. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea to take that. I kinda like my healing. I also could, like, escape at the next camp. Yep. Rock. Yep. More rock. All right. I wish I'd known this was going to turn into a mountain. All right, well, let's just start building some uh, mountains over here. Put them next to these meadows. Ooh, another treasury. All right, put another mountain here to give me more HP. Put a treasury up here. Uh, put another meadow down. Perfect. Oh. Another oblivion. Get rid of that goblin camp. I don't like goblin camps. That's got ca extra counter and evasion. And more HP. Let's do it. Alright. Yeah, I like my current shield. I like my current shield a lot. Another beacon. From our perspective, this has your interest. But from your perspective, how has this first taste of loot here been so far? Pretty good. Ish pretty good. Alright. Level 6 chest. I do want to get more vampirism. I didn't read these. Empty treasury. A treasury without treasure. An empty shell. A sorry sight, especially for its stone guardians that have slept through their eternal watch. Spawns a gargoyle every three days. Ooh. Level 7 shield. Vampirism. Counter evasion and more defense. Yes. That's really good. So it looks like orange is the... So it goes... Uh, gray, blue, yellow, orange it looks like. For the rarity scale. I think we should I think we should run. Assuming I live. I think we can make it. Let's put that there. All right. Let's regen off this chest. There we go. Another chest, or another thing here. No, let's keep our current shield. Teal off the slime a little bit. There we go. Alright. Yeah, the skeletons hit really hard. Ow. Let's do this, so that way we can open up these treasuries. Perfect. Um... Perfect. I'll crack that open. Because we're not going to do another loop, so I don't mind buffing this up. I think we're going to run away. We're going to run away like a coward. Oh, 
Oh, what the hell is this? Ghost of a ghost. <laughs> so there's a 20% chance that what I kill becomes a ghost. And then there's a 20% chance that the ghost becomes a ghost of a ghost. I wonder if I can go even further. I bet, I bet it can. I bet it can go even further. And then there's a, tw a ghost of a ghost of a ghost. So let's try and get this. Ooh. You know, let's not place any more stuff. Let's... Let's not place anything else down. I'm just gonna make it to camp, you know? Yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just get to camp. Turn to camp. You keep all resources. Treat. Oh. I can't believe it. Hey, everybody. The boy has managed to return. Survivors? Does this mean I'm not alone anymore? Where did you come from? Is there still a place without darkness? We don't know where we came from. Or, we can't remember. These people, you see. Kill man, he ghost. Kill ghost, ghost ghost. <laughs> uh. These people you see are only a small part of what's left of the group, I think. You're not sure? We're not sure. We reached that conclusion because the uh, because of the abandoned luggage and leftover daily rations. With each day, new signs of presence of people that, as far as everyone here knows, have never even been with us. It's like we forgot them. You forgot? Exactly. It's like people disappear every day and we instantly forget they even existed. Almost as if we forgot the place we came from, and our families, and maybe even ourselves. My name is Yota. That's the part I still remember. Nobody else's memory is in much better shape. That's why I remember so little about myself. Everything is forgotten. But wait, you said that uh, I'd managed to return? That means you remembered I was here. Yes. That's why it's so important to us. We saw you leave, but you were gone before we could approach you. Listen, we can't wander around in the emptiness anymore. There's a campfire and a few sleeping bags here. A real luxury in these dark times. What do you say? Of course. Uh, I'd be very grateful if we could team up. I want to restore everything. I've begun to remember the world as it was before. But there's no point to do it without other people. It's too lonely without them. Remembering the world? I don't understand what you're talking about. I'm too exhausted, but we'd be glad if you could help us. Ah, uh, and we'd be glad to help you. Just don't ask us to go with you. I don't know how you managed to return, but for us, leaving the group is too dangerous. I'll ask no such thing of you. For now, I just want to have a place to return to. A place where I can hear other people's voices. We weren't joking about helping you. Here are the few things that survived the cataclysm. And don't vanish away. Can't be forgotten. Take them. You might need them. Thanks. Survivor's Tent. A camp filled uh, with exhausted people and their limited belongings. Can't be destroyed. But its inhabitants will gladly move to a better housing if you build it. Gotcha. Build. Field kitchen? Herbalist? Uh, uh. Potion seal for 4% of max HP. You can take up to three potions with you. Two potions are refilled at the camp. 
Schmithy. Oh, let's build the uh, herbalist. Uh, It's a miracle that we could find some fertile soil. And that we were able to save some seeds of precious healing herbs. But the real miracle is that all these healing poultices and balms still have any effect. We've already lost many people because of the cataclysm. It would be nice not to lose more to disease. And these potions can also help you. Take a bottle or two on your trip. And your chances of getting back unharmed will be much higher. What's this? Destroy building. Upgrade building. Effects of improvement. Plus 2% of the potion's healing effect. Two potions to carry with you. Means a lot of rations. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Not what I want to do. Uh, let's build the field kitchen. Do you know the difference between a good cook and a bad cook? The food made by a good cook is tastier. What? You're waiting for something more elaborate? Sometimes the truth is very simple. Look, I have a cauldron, a hearth, a couple of knives. Bucket of potatoes, three onions, and some ham. Nothing special. Everything is simple. But give me a few minutes, and everyone in this camp will be running to my table, following the tasty smell of a good brew. 10% to the campfire's healing power. Unlocks blood grove. Upgrading will increase the campfire's healing power. Okay. Okay. And then I want to build the smithy. Ooh, there's also other things. Refuge. In these dire times, it's your duty to offer help to the needy. Can only be built next to the field kitchen. Oh, okay. Unlocks new class. Rogue. Gymnasium. A place where you'll learn how to read, write, uh, and be polite to your teacher. Physical training takes priority. Unlocks the ability to gain special traits after killing monsters in expeditions. Unlocks the village card. I only need one more wood to make that. Farm. Farmer's crops are always a welcome sight on the dinner table. All empty tiles around the farm are transformed into, uh, into gardens. After an expedition, it gives you one ration for every complete loot but not more than there are garden tiles around the farm. You can build something over the garden. Unlocks the ability to craft food if the supply depot is built. Unlocks the wheat fields card. Okay. Let's do another expedition. Ooh. Swamp. Spawns a mosquito every three days. All healing effects are lethal here. Except for potions. Those are still on your side. That sounds horrible. Blood Grove. A living forest preys on the wounded occupants of adjacent tiles. It may spawn something dreadful from their remains. Can it be placed near a forest adjacent to the road? Its roots devour enemies that have less than 15% HP left. Sure. Chrono crystals. Crystals that are able to refract not only the light of the rising sun, but the passage of dawn itself. Doubles the effect of a day's passing on adjacent tiles. Well, let's get rid of the beacon, because all that does is kill me. Let's throw on the chrono crystal. It also looks like I can have as few as seven cards. But I can't go over 12. Class Warrior. Chapter 1. Enemies have 0 to 1 abilities. Enemy strength is minus 5%. Enemy strength growth is 2% per loop. Max resources 10. Class Warrior. Class doesn't uh, have any particular benefits or disadvantages. Has the highest durability compared to other classes. 2% damage for each second 
of combat. Additional stats, four slots. Potion heals 4% of HP, plus two potions per loop, up to three potions. All right. Cool, I've got potions now. Your trusty travel companion heals you by 4% when your life is in danger. The fewer you have, the more you cherish them. All right. Punch the slime and get some gear. Uh, let's throw on a spider cocoon here. Let's put it like over here, actually. Uh, let's put it here. We're going to hold on to this meadow. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, let's put a mountain right about here. Now, I know that I make this like giant mountain if I put a three by three. The question is, do I get any increased benefit for making that three by three with all rocks or all mountains? I don't know. I need to experiment. I need to experiment. Soul Burger, Anonymous Gifter, and Mr. Fox. Thank you, man. Okay. We can put a grove down. And then we can put the blood tree here. Nice. Oh, put that shield on, put that weapon on, put that ring on. There we go. Nice. I'll put another grove over here. Perfect. We're going to hang on to this meadow for now. Any of these better? Got attack speed over evasion, but I'd rather have the 9% evasion for now. Okay. Nothing special right now. Nope. Blue sword. Got a little bit of regen on it. That's got six extra HP. Perfect. I mean, yeah, evasion's always good, because that's just not taking damage. It increases our effective HP. Alright, so... Put that there. Your items always reset? Yep. Looks like we start with uh, basically nothing. Although the smithy upgrade makes it so we start with gear. Counter chance seems pretty good. 16% on that, I'll take it. That increases our effective DPS. Nice. Can I move by? You can move items up to the chain to save them. Hmm. No, you can't. Oh, items, not cards. Oh. I don't know why I would do that. Because once I put on an item, the previous item is gone forever. All right. Uh, let's put another mountain here. Get another blood grove. More blood. 
More blood. Ooh, level two sword. I'll take that. Let's just surround that thing with groves. Put a rock here. No more regen? It's fine, I got potions. Ooh, level four shield. Nice. Significantly more defense. Chrono crystals. So this makes time pass faster. So I think we'll put that as, in as much coverage as possible. Is that better? Nope. No, it's not. Alright. What the hell is that thing? That guy looks scary. He looks big. I'm worried, chat. <laughs> Get you go. Ooh, treasury. Nice. Perfect. Five armor. There we go. Perfect. Level five shield too. Very nice. I have so much half. But I have no form of sustain right now. Yeah. I have no form of sustain right now. Okay, so let's put a road beacon down. Put that there. Flesh golem. Oh, good. Oh my god, he hits hard. Okay. Ooh, he drops really nice loot, though. Damn. Well, it's got some regen, magic damage, and evasion, so I'll take the less HP over that. That's got vampirism, regen, evasion, and attack speed. Got magic damage, defense, counter, vampirism. I'd rather have the evasion than the counter. All right, let's move forward. There we go. We'll just keep doing that. Mm -mm. Why don't you wear both rings? Because I only have four inventory slots. weapon. Nice. That's just a straight-up upgrade. Alright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can someone explain why he's building a map? I'm rebuilding the world. I'm rebuilding the world. More. 
just give it five minutes and then somebody will ask. It's no, honestly like I don't I'm not really bothered by the the ring question because it very clearly looks like I have another ring slot. So I'm not really bothered by it. Alright. Let's see, do I want to put down another spider cocoon? Why not finish the treasury? Uh, cause I'm waiting for another treasury. Finish it. Boom. Yeah, so the mountain peak has the same HP and stuff. So I might as well just do one mountain and then a bunch of rocks around it. Also, we have another treasury. Now we can do that. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, let's put a uh, road lantern down there. I don't know if I want vampires. I'll put them here. I'll put them there. For now. Ooh, level 6 shield. Three less defense, but it's got regen and vampirism. Good. Drink the potions. Uh, the potions are done automatically. I, I don't have any control over potions. Although I did notice this little thing get added. So I think this is when my, my hero will drink a potion. I don't know what to do with rocks uh, yes. now. I slept over vampire here. Spawner next to the Chrono Crystal, so that vampires spawn faster. Uderp. They don't. Um. So the vampires don't spawn. They just get added to. Um. They just get added to whatever fight. So if there's a fight on this tile, they just get added to it. Time doesn't really bother them at all. I do want a battlefield. Put one right there. We'll put a battlefield there. Yeah. I don't know if I want anything else. I might get rid of the goblins. I might get rid of the goblins here. Hmm. Less evasion, but more defense. Nah, I kind of like that magic damage. Goblin, goblin, goblin leader. I wish I would attack the goblin leader first, but I think it's just random whoever the hero decides to attack first, so I don't really have much control. Level six weapon, 18% evasion. Ooh, that's spicy. Uh-oh, flesh golem. He hits for 60! He does 66, 69 damage. Nice. But he seems to always drop legendary gear, which is nice. So I'll be getting rid of attack and regen for defense and magic. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that trade. That seems nice. that down. Let's get our other battlefield. To turn that into a blood path. Perfect. And then 
Uh, let's get a road lantern here. There we go. I'm gonna delete that goblin town. And we'll get a mountain down here. Perfect. I wonder if there's any synergy with a blood path and a blood path and a battlefield. I mean, I figure blood, blood and vampires, gotta do something, right? Maybe. Level six armor? Yeah, I already looked at it. I kind of like the evasion. You know, let's put a let's put a vampire here. There we go. Very nice. And another one. Yeah, let's put one rock here. I'll put a mountain here. Yeah. All right. Perhaps keep the level six armor to heal you in case you get low. Mm, no. See, that's got better evasion. Nah, I don't want that. I'll lose my regen. That is literally the exact same ring. Nice. Alright. Put another mountain here. And we'll get rid of that goblin camp. And, uh, I guess I'll just put another rock over here. Can I put another blood tree somewhere? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. down and then guess I'll put that there and I'll put that there there now time flows very very fast what we'll put a, we'll put a cemetery down All right, we're getting kind of close to summoning our boss. I could run away again, but part of me wants to fight the boss. Uh, triple the regen, 1.8 regen per second. Yeah, let's do it, why not? Ooh, 15 evasion, but I lose my vampirism. Or I could just go defense and regen build here. Damage to all two. It makes it so that way when you hit an enemy, it'll do damage to everything else around it. That's what damage to all is. Okay, you gotta stop dodging, dude. Stop. 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 Yeah, what if we win a regen build? Uh, I lose evasion, but I'd gain vampirism and magic damage. And a little bit of damage there. Yeah, I'll take it. That's got even more evasion. Maybe I'll go evasion regen. Maybe I'll just focus on evasion and regen. That seems like the play. Focus on evasion and regen. Another 
Treasury. Cool. This area of the map is looking real scary. Yeah. That's looking real scary. Ow. Oh, but dude, look at the loot that he drops. He's got counter, attack, speed, and defense. Regen defense damage to all. Yeah, that's perfect for us. Defense evasion. Defense. Vampirism. Yeah, those blood golems, they might hit really hard, but they pretty much always drop legendary loot. It's really hard to say no to. Also, this region's really nice. I must say, I am a fan, chat. We're doing pretty good. I feel like I could put, probably put down a couple more things. Yeah, let's put down another spider cocoon. Down it on the mountain. Put a rock up here. We're getting near the end here. This game seems easy. Wow, it's almost like it's the first level. Who would have thought? Don't worry, I'm sure it'll... I'm sure the difficulty will begin to spike. Put another meadow here. Alright. Look at all those spiders, dude. Damn. anywhere yeah let's put another let's put a blood grove here start eating all those enemies the hell is this dark slime cosmic interesting cosmic slime All right, so we're getting near the end here. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna let it, we're just gonna let it all just kind of like fade through, it's fine. All right, time for the golem. Ow. Hurt me. Hurt me. Yeah, regen is really strong. Uh, evasion, vampirism, but I lose my regen. That's got less regen, but better magic damage and counter chance. I'll take that. Ooh, actually, I think I'll take... Uh, Oh. Actually, yeah, I kind of like attack speed. This one's got... Same vampirism. Nah, we'll keep our current shield. Mm-mm. 
keep filling these out. I got Book of Memories. I like these books. Alright, so I've got an idea here. It says that it spawns the boss on the campfire tile. So what if I get to the campfire and then spam all these items? Will I get a full loop to basically level up? Maybe. I think that's our play here. We wait till we get past the campfire, then summon the boss. All right. Now let's do it. Ooh, 2.4 regen. Very nice. All right, so let's finish off our mountain. Ooh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, uh... Second chat. Mm -hmm. The boss has arrived. Ooh, this music though? All right. Lich's Palace. Oh. Yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, Lich's Palace. It was here that the sorcerer Omnicron constructed his futile experiments in an attempt to stop the heat death of the universe. Every palace increases the Lich's HP and damage by 5%. Oh. Well, I want to destroy those. <laughs> I want those to die. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do, do, do. Dude, that regen is insane. <laughs> Level 9 shield? It's actually chest armor. But it... Like, max HP with no real... Like, I'm not giving up 2.4 regen a second plus 10 evasion for 300 max HP. That's just not worth it. Baru, it's hard to do stuff with this awesome boss map music. Man, these guys have a lot of evasion. Right. For real, this is a jammer? It's a it's a jammer, alright. Uh no, nah, I don't want that. Watch me lose all the HP before the boss. Nah, I think we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Um, better vampirism. Nah, I lose defense. Not worth. So, can I not have more than one mountain? Because that should have created a mountain. I guess not. Mm 
Please don't one man spam. Thank you. Also, just a sea of fucking gifts is not really constructive. Shit post better. How long until 12 p.m. CST? 13 minutes, which should probably be after the boss dies at this rate. Get more HP per day. Ooh, I just realized we're about to fight something pretty ridiculous. Oh my god, we have double... Look at this shit show down here! Look at this! This is... Oh god. I might die before the boss. I might die before the bo I even get to the boss at this rate. Mm -hmm. Does the 10% blood grove work on the boss? Well, it doesn't matter because I can't place it near him. I would imagine that it would. Double blood golem. Ow! God, they hit hard. Golem, get you gone. Oh, dude, but the loot, though. Hmm. That gets rid of my regen. And uh, three regen and a shitload of defense. Hell yeah. Oh, new weapon. Defense, evasion, magic damage, and a shitload of damage. Yes. Uh, slightly less regen for basically counter and defense and more HP. I'll take it. <laughs> Ooh, another treasury. All right. <laughs> Why is everybody tier three subbing? Couch potato, this is tier three sub. Pyro games into the tier three sub. Stop it, y'all are big dumb ducks. You have a blood grove, try placing it next to the boss. I need to place it next to a grove. Which the problem is that this lich is building takes up the takes up the spot so I can't place it I'd have to get rid of one of these liches palaces but I don't have an oblivion to do so unfortunate now if I get an oblivion then sure I'll do it but I need the oblivion first More rocks. More rocks. All right. All right. 
crack open that. Ooh, another another treasury. Put it there. <laughs> the world is dark and music is lit. Soon the boss will return to the pit. I'm gonna put a battlefield in the boss. Maybe the bat maybe the boss will turn into a ghost. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. Ooh, more regen. Nice. Ooh. I don't want any of that. 7.8 regen. That's a lot of regen, dude. More resources. Very nice. Uh, slightly less regen for counter and magic damage. I'll actually take that. That'll give us more DPS against the boss. More HP. Regen to full before the boss. I think I'll get the campfire's healing when I step on the tile. I think. This is a really long loop. It really is a very long loop. The amount of region I have is just stupid. Oh, finally an oblivion. No, stay. If only I didn't put that battlefield there. I could have put a. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered. I don't even have a blood forest. Save the resources and run. No, I can take him. Look how much regen I have. Look how much regen I have. I can't die. magic damage and more regen That region is kicking ass, okay? I don't care what you say. Oh, shit. 
How? How is this even possible? Damn, he looks fucking badass, dude. Holy shit. That is the most intimidating first boss I've ever seen. That's right. You didn't devour me like the rest of the world. Haven't I? Do you really don't think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you. I consumed all of your reality. Every one of its elements now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform static mass. Along with you, of course. You're insane. So, what do we have here? I see. You've found a way to interact with other pieces of your reality. To organize, combine, and merge them. But how? I don't see any exceptional talent or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what's happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is butchering my world and thinks that it can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first of a series of systematic errors. A problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time then. I don't think you're capable of feeling regret, but I'm about to change that. Lich. 1200 HP. 173 damage! 0.36 uh, attacks per second. Undead. Cosmic. Mage. Has a soul. Researcher. Uh, health and damage are increased by 5% for every of the Lich's palace at the start of the battle. He's got 25% additional damage, and he deals all magic damage. Now I get 1% damage per second that this fight goes on. So the longer we stay in combat, the more damage I'll end up having. Which is why regen is so important. So I'm going to regen... He's got 0.36... Uh, attacks per second. We've got 7.8 regen per second. So, I'm going to be getting about 21 HP regen between his attacks. I do have two potions. There's a potion there. There's another potion. It's getting close. I'm at 46% damage. I can take three more hits. Yeah. Next two hits are lethal. Which, ooh, one more hit and I think we win. Nice. Nonsense! This is impossible! So many reasons! I don't understand! Now put everything back like it was before. I can't. I've already completed my task, even if the result is not perfect. You are in no position to refuse, you sack of bones. He's already received everything I could gather. I just wanted to see how our crusade against the universe would end. To witness what would come of it. My presence is no longer required. Who is he? I get it. You're connected somehow, right? That's why. You will find out soon enough. This anomaly will not escape his attention. Now my explanations would be meaningless to you. So spare me your wheezing and just die. If that sack of bones is telling the truth, I have a long journey ahead. I will build my whole world from scratch if I have to. And the skull of that monster will be the first brick in its foundation. Ooh. Resources, sis. Resource assortment. The boss has been defeated, but your journey doesn't have to end. You can retreat to camp with all your findings, but remember the world will forget your deeds. It always forgets. Let's retreat. Everybody listen! The Lich is dead. The curse has been lifted, but... What Lich? 
What curse? I believe you, of course, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't remember the dead sorcerer? The one in a fur coat holding a scepter all shrouded in star nebulas floating above the world in his shining wings and eating it piece by piece? That's strange. Everything looks the same around here. Why? I guess he's not the only reason for this darkness. Hmm. The skeleton men has mentioned him. Whoever he is. He must have something to do with the obliteration of the world. It seems I have no other option but to continue my exped expeditions. Ooh. S rogue? Gymnasium. Hmm. So that's how it works. Instead of remembering something, you can just learn it again. That's a nice trick. There's no ill intent. Without education, our world would be left to the savages. One second, chat. You too could learn a few things, though. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Nah, I already know all I need to. Leave learning to the kids. Your first lesson. Learn to like learning. That would make life easier for the both of us. Chat, it's time. It is time. The announcement. The announcement you never knew that you were ready for. Are you ready? <laughs> He's moving to Mixer. I'm going back in time and moving to Mixer. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I've become a time traveler. <sighs> oh god why do i have anxiety for posting but a simple image but a simple image But a simple image, chat. That's all it is. Stalling big time. It's just an image. It's an announcement to an announcement. The suspense is killing you. It's killing you. Hair reveal. <laughs> is it another Rory? It is not another Rory. No. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, chat. It's time. It's time. Tweet. Done. It is done. It is done. April 2nd. April 2nd. Will be the time. Not April 1st? Two reasons for that. Now we can officially shrimp. Now you may officially shrimp. <sighs> so, here's the thing. Number one. 
April 1st. I didn't want to put it on that date because everybody would say, <laughs> is this a joke? And I didn't want them to do that. Also, April 1st is on a Thursday. I don't stream on Thursdays. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in baubles. But rude jade panties. Well, you have to have 20,000 subs for a full 30 consecutive days, which y'all have not managed to keep it for more than one day. So, no. No. But yeah, chat. Interact with this tweet for me. Interact with this tweet. I would appreciate that. Interact with it. That panda does not look like Ruji. I am disappointed. Oh, there's a jade. There's a jade panda. Pin to profile. Boop. Will this be a full-time VTuber? Probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, do, do. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for the future, chat. So you quit Twitch? I, I'm, I'm, I'm not quitting Boop. Twitch, no. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm disappointed that the panda doesn't look like Rude W. <laughs> uh, anyway. Add a exclamation mark announcement. And have that, have it be a link to that tweet. Thank you. Baru the first tuba punk champ. I'm excited. I really am excited to see like where it goes. Does that change anything or just a new marketing format? Well, I'll I'll have an actual VTuber rig on the screen and the panda will be talking. The voice will be coming from the panda. However, Sam will mimic uh, eye movements and expression accordingly. I miss your face? I don't. I don't miss it at all. Now, I have a... Thank you. If the panda doesn't roo-blop him, I'm just going to head out. <laughs> I'm just going to head out. We'll see. Boop. We'll see. Maybe we can add that. We'll see. We shall see. Mm -hmm. You got rid of your face? It's a hair reveal, but it's panda hair. It works. Thank you. Can the panda rubible and rubobble when needed? <laughs> a bibble a bubble, a bibble a bubble, a bibble a bubble, a bibble a bubble. Alright, what else can I build? I can build a farm. I can build a smithy. Build a smithy. By the anvil of the seven seas, it's a small forge. <laughs> oh, you've no idea how I've missed the heat of a furnace and the smell of metal. Well, I have some good tools now. You can be sure of it. Lad, you'll be able to use something during those trips of yours. I love his beard. Look at that beard. You're quite enthusiastic. Something tells me you're not a stranger uh, to seasonship. Shiver me hammers, how'd you know? Doesn't matter though, you're right. Don't worry. I'll prove to you that these hands can hold a hammer as good as they can hold a helm in a storm. And for a dozen days in a row, if needed. Build a farm. Have you noticed how strangely this oblivion affects our senses? 
Hunger, for example. You can stop eating for days and still won't be hungry. This, of course, does not mean that you should stop eating altogether. The farmer promises that he'll be able to grow some stable crops, but it will take some time. It'll be interesting to see what he can grow without sunlight. Alright, so that's everything we can build now. I want to get the uh, refuge up next. Expedition. Village and wheat fields. Interesting. Ooh, chapter two. Oh, shit. Bonus resources, 40%. Max amount of a resource, 20. Enemies grow in strength 3% per loop. They start at 0% instead of minus 5. And they always have at least one ability, sometimes two. All right, well, uh, let's take off the road lantern and the chrono crystals and throw on the village and the wheat fields. All right. Well, let's do it. Ooh, I start with gear now. Nice. Perfect. Can I change the rogue? Hey, what's this? Slime. Minus 0.3 armor. Ooh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We'll put a grove here. Yeah. We'll put a grove there. And we'll put a blood thing there as well. That's kind of scary. Shapeless mass. Hmm. Interesting. Put some regen in there. Alright. Uh, we'll go ahead and start on our mountain. Where do we want to put it? Put it like right here. Maybe we should get a cemetery. I wouldn't mind a cemetery. Yeah, we'll put it like right there. What's that second bar below the HP? Looks like it's... Ooh, actually, it looks like it's an XP bar. Nice. So we have an XP bar now. Counter chance? Now we'll keep the regen. My only source of healing right now. Will you be getting into questionable antics with Iron Mouse, Silvervale, vale, Momos, and Thraya and the likes? If not, then you'll have to unsub. I don't know. Let's see. I'm a very wholesome streamer. Damage to all and counter chance. For now, I am a wholesome streamer. All right, so we'll turn that into a blood path. So what are wheat fields? Uh, Haystacks looks like a cozy place to rest, but you have to move on. Now draw her having a great day, Rue Gun. <laughs> uh, can only be placed next to a village. Plus 10 HP to healing in adjacent villages. Spawns a scarecrow every four days. Oh, well, that's just strictly better in every way. And so is that. Nice. What is this? Bleeding? Ooh, and you stack it, too. Ouch, that's scary. Living fabric. Okay. 13 evasion. We'll see. Ooh, there's our treasuries. Regen damage to all and magic damage. Wait, did cracked skeleton? Oh. 
So just because I finish him off doesn't mean he's actually dead. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty scary. <laughs> what happens when you get a 3x3 three three meadow? Uh, we tried that and nothing happened. I wonder what vampires do. I'm pretty scared, actually. Vampires suck. Well, we'll see. So, how do I get a. Let's see. Kill 60 upon entering gives a quest. Is that what this little skull. Uh, not skull. Crown is? Is that a quest? Cool. Ooh. Nice. Vampirism, a lot of HP. I'll take that. Entangling, 5% chance to immobilize the target with web instead of attacking. Quest goal, 200, plus 200% 200 HP. Okay. These abilities are uh, pretty rough. That's a lot of defense. Nice. Ooh, let's see what we got here. Better vampirism. Oh, there's regen. You know I love regen. Let's just keep extending out this cemetery. So he's always going to be like this. That's a lot of damage up. I'll take it. Alright. put a battlefield next to the uh next to the cemetery what is this submerged goes underground after two attacks and cannot be targeted invincible oh man Okay, those abilities are, uh, we had to pay a little bit more attention of what we decide to... I don't know if I want to see what goblin abilities get. Double mimics! Ambush. The first strike is always a crit. And always hits the target. Oh! Good. This place is scary, and I don't like it. <laughs> Dare I put a vampire down to see what they do? I may have to run away. Ooh, level up. Survivalist. If your, H if your HP drops below 30%, your regeneration is doubled. Regen! Mm. 
more regen. Alright, let's see what these vampires do. Summons bats after health drops below 50%. Swarm of bats. Okay. Repellent squeak. Everyone who doesn't have this ability gets the ringing in the ears effect, which has 10% chance of interrupting attacks. Oh, good. Alright. Yeah, this is, uh, pretty crazy. I need more regen and defense. Increase the attack speed of all allies by 15%. And now all the regular goblins have rage as well. Oh, good. Ooh, level four weapon. Got a chance to counter and magic damage. Take it. I should probably destroy that bandit. Or that, uh, not bandit, uh, goblin camp. So I'll start a rock pile over here. Does magic damage even do anything? Uh, it increases my damage. Basically raw damage up. Alright. Those scarecrows. Those scarecrows hit hard. Everything in here hits hard. Alright. Goody. I don't even know if we're going to be able to finish this loop. We'll have to see. Sixteen percent vampirism? Nah, I think I'll keep the regen ring. Did that chest just counter me? Excuse me? It's a chest. Better ring. How do you... How do you get countered by a chest? This is not looking good. This is not looking good. I don't know if I can even fight this. I might die. I might die. I'm gonna oblivion it. I'm gonna oblivion that thing. Chilling touch upon dying stuns opponent for three seconds. Oh, okay.
All right, the uh, second chapter is uh, pretty hard. Maybe we should uh, do the first chapter again. Maybe. If I can find more regen, I think we'll be in a good place. But I have to find the regen. Oh, there it is. Regeneration. The hell was that? 10% chance. Oh, it won't happen. The fucking bats. Article of protection. After receiving this effect, after every loop, the hero receives a bar of phantom protection that is equal to 65% of his max HP. All damage is dealt, ignoring defense. Yes! I am a god. Death is close, but it has been postponed for now. All right. All right. I can't get rid of that regen. The regen's the only thing keeping me alive. Continue our little rock collection over here. That goblin camp is going to be very bad. Or maximum HP. Oh, this goblin camp is going to hurt. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ow. Pain. Ow. Ow. Your incredible strategic thinking that realms above our understanding. Perhaps it would be wise to spread those foul creatures over our territory instead of creating murder corners. Rue think. You know, that would probably be a very good idea. Maybe, maybe spread out the death and destruction instead of having just a concentrated pile of go fuck yourself. Yes, I like this idea. Ah, oh, a heal. Thank you. Oh no, not two. 30% of the creature's damage is dealt to everyone in the battlefield. That implies I can have allies. Now we'll keep our current sword. All right, I don't, I don't think we're gonna survive another round, so. I'm a leaf. <laughs> Retreat. Another success. You've returned, and we still remember you. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's good to be back, but I'd hardly call it a success. My old memories of the world are gone. The path is empty again, and there's only darkness everywhere I look. Interesting. So technically, you remember that there are things you have forgotten. We should find a way to use that. Let's talk about something more positive. We managed to tidy this place up. It's time for the next step. What do you have in mind? Expanding the camp. We have all sorts of craftsmen, from cooks uh, to an alchemist, but they all need a place to work. But we can't use the materials from around here. You turn away for a second from a branch or a stone you've just found, and it's gone. I'm afraid only you can solve this problem. The materials that survived your trip always look suitable for building. 
But these are just stones and splinters. How can you build something with them? Curious, eh? I noticed it with the fire you've made. And the things uh, you obtain somehow uh, infect everything similar with stability. Only in small amounts, but it's still something. Even a small branch is enough to make a wooden wall e exist. Without constant supervision. Interesting. I can upgrade. You know, let's upgrade the... Uh... Hmm. Now, I, I kind of want to build more stuff before I start upgrading buildings. Yeah. I want to build the supply depot. And the cemetery. But the supply depot is going to need a lot of metal. I think we might actually go to the first level again. I don't know. I might hit up the first level again. Hmm. Yeah, let's hit up the first level again. Could try out the swamp. It literally just says it reduce like healing is lethal. So I'm going to assume that regen is bad. I mean, I guess you could combine it with maybe vampires. Like you surround a vampire mansion with swamp tiles, so that way the vampires hurt themselves instead of heal themselves. But this is this also hurts you is the problem. This also affects your healing as well, so that just sounds bad. Yeah. All right, let's let's give chapter two another another a stab here, but maybe we don't make an entire concentrated pile of murder corners, and that way we don't die instantly. You know what, though, vampires, right off the bat. right off the bat. Alright, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. I didn't mean it like that. Nice. Damage to all and some regen. Very good. How much do, How much XP do those bats give? Those, those bats actually give a good amount of XP. Is there a 3x3 three three meadows? We already tried a 3x3 three three meadows. It didn't do anything. Vampirism or defense? We have a vampirism. That's got some attack speed on it. Alright, cool. 3x3 three three forest? I don't have a forest. Why a battlefield at the center? I don't know. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Alright. Alright, I think we'll put the cemetery right after the camp. That way it's after I get a nice heal in. Alright, 
It's got counter, less regen. I'll take it. Damage to all defense and counter. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Ouch, those ten percent are hurting. Alright. I want another groove. I'll put a groove here. Just spread them out a bit. I don't know if I actually want to keep the spider colony. The spiders actually suck once they get abilities. I actually hate the spiders. I'll put like one down, but other than that... Yeah, I'm not messing with that. I'll put a village right after the... Right after the cemetery so we get some healing after we fight a skeleton. Oh yeah, weapon. There we go. Yeah, no, we're not putting any more down. Down do 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 Spiders are from mob farming. The problem is, is that they, w when you have mass amounts of spiders, they each have a 10% chance to immobilize you. So you just sit there and mobilize. Okay. New quest. Hmm. I'll take more vampirism. Hmm. Interesting. 10% chance to keep the card after placing its tile. Doesn't work for golden cards. Deals you a full hand of oblivion cards. From now on, using an oblivion card heals you for 10% of your max HP. Or, damage is increased by 20% of your defense value. This seems like the worst one out of these two. I think we're going to take Blissful Ignorance, but I'm going to hold that until it's time to level up again. But two could all, you know, I think we're actually going to take Card Sharp just because it could potentially be really nice. So I'm having an idea here. Ooh. That's a really nice weapon. So when we first met the vampires, they talked about the fields. What if we put a what if we put a vampire next to a village? Okay. Ransacked village. The farmers couldn't fight off a hungry vampire, but they could still fight off you. Spawns up to four ghouls once per loop, transforms into something useful after three loops. Nice. 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 And that's just a straight up upgrade. Could be really good, but I don't know what four ghouls is going to do to me. Besides murder my face.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Oh wait, never mind. No, we're not. As soon as I get in oblivion, I'm gonna want to change. I'm gonna want to destroy that goblin camp. Like fuck the goblins, dude. Seriously, the goblins are a pain in the ass. They're horrible. Do I still heal when I enter the village? You know, let's just put a regular, let's just put a regular village down. Okay. Bandit camp. Masters of trading their poverty for someone else's life. Spawns a bandit on adjacent tile every two days. Bandits for villages. Appears for every two village tiles. I was like, you know, let's just put a regular village down. Nope. All right. Time to find out what bandits do. Assuming I don't die. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna leave. We're abandoning this. Oh look, a murder corner. It wasn't an intentional murder corner though. It was not an intentional murder corner. Retreat. Refuge. There is exile, even in exile, hero. Don't be hard on the lost souls who have found their salvation in wine and gambling. Sit down instead and pick your, uh, pick yourself a poison to drink. That's not why I'm here. It's so strange. This place and its surrounding, they're familiar to me. Now we're talking. So did you manage to make your living off the road? A bit of robbery, maybe? Or collecting bounties for someone's unlucky head? It's as if someone else knew and did all this, and now I have their knowledge and skills. And now I somehow, literally, have two aces up my sleeve. And I think I stole someone's purse, too. <laughs> Wait, that's my coin purse. You don't believe me? Oh, well. Feel free to come by if you want to discuss our uh, your new trade. I didn't become this good with knives by working in the kitchen, you know. Cool build anything else? No. Smelter. Unlocks the Storm Temple card. Unlocks the Arsenal Gold card if the Intel Center is built and plus 30 base HP. Alright, we're going back to we're going back to level one, but we're gonna play as the rogue now. Okay. So the rogue doesn't have a ring slot but instead gets a boot slot. Doesn't have a shield, but instead has two weapons. Interesting. Interesting. Wait. <laughs> the rogue does not have vampirism or regen. Oh. Huh. Well, how about that swamp card? <laughs> How's about that swamp card? Baru Reed? Can receive trophies after killing enemies in battle and exchange them for equipment. Has 5% vampirism from the start. 10% bonus for any effect for every equipped item with the same effect. Still gonna rock the swamp card. Still gonna rock the swamp card. Oh, I guess I can't put on the shield. All right. Got a nice mountain to start with. So let's do that.
But maybe we don't put the vampires. Or maybe I do put the van. You know what? I'm doing it. I have no fear. No fear. So, do I not get loot? Oh, I only get my loot when I get to the camp tile. That's kind of weird. Alright. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Cool. Evasion and defense. Ten percent damage or crit chance. Oh, ten percent damage or that. Ah, ten percent chance to do one hundred and forty percent damage. A new mallet. Double mallet. Double mallet. Okay. I'm doing the murder corner thing again. He's doing it again. Hmm. Is the VTuber thing going to be permanent? Yes. Maybe. We'll see. I get a lot of XP for these, uh, these kills here. Get these meadows down so I can start healing. Yeah, battlefield. We'll put it over here. We'll put it over there for now. Ooh, level up. Child of the forest. A rat wolf may come to your aid during battle. 75% chance. Ooh. 10% chance to simultaneously attack two targets. The hero receives 7% less damage for every enemy, starting for the second enemy. I want Rory. Give me Rory! Nice. All right. So he works as like a tank too. They seem to prioritize attacking him and not me. Although it might just be random. Kind of like how my target, my targeting is completely random. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take the evasion bonus. Take the counter. Take the spicy damage. Yep. 
yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, cool. Oh, I don't get, oh, I don't, I guess I don't get a trophy for the treasure chest. Okay. Rogue seems rough. It feels a bit rough, but... Oh, good. You know what? No. No goblins. Incorrect. No goblins. I'm not dealing with you. Not today. No. 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 Goodbye, Rory. Yeah, this Rory level up is actually really nice. Not gonna lie. Like, he just does so much damage. And tanks so much health. And boy, does it feel bad when he doesn't show up. Boy, does he it feel bad when he doesn't show up. Lose two defense, gain four magic. Place the Gladius there. More evasion, more attack speed. That's a lot of health. Can't really say no to that. That's a better sword. What's this? Count's land. The village is thriving under the vampire's protection and its inhabitants are very generous. Heals 135 HP upon entering. Gives you a quest with a better reward. All right, well, let's just go ahead and... Let's just build another one now. That's actually pretty sick. That's pretty sick, dude. Murder corner? Well, no, now that's just a regular village. All right, let's go. Hey, bum, bum, bum. After losing 20% of his max HP in battle, the hero will evade all attacks for two seconds. I think we take Oblivion here. But then what do I get rid of? Delete the camp!
I wonder if I can delete the vampire mansion after the uh, Count's Lands is done. I am reminded that the Harpies also complained about food. Maybe it can be solved in a similar manner to the vampire. Oh shit. Champion Slime. Uh-oh. We're in a bad position here, chat. Yeah, what if we... Okay, so hear me out. What if we get a, a mountain tile, and instead of surrounding it with other mountains, we surround it with meadow? What if? What if? Why am I not healing with this Oblivion? It says it heals me for 10%. Oh yeah, the mountain is weaker. I don't know why it's so weak. I think it scales off the base HP of the class. Crit damage chance, evasion bonus. That's really good. Critical damage. Sure, we'll take that. Evasion damage to all and damage chance. Sure, we'll take that. Actually, this is better. Mm-hmm. 48% chance to crit. Seems really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why that's damaging me. It says it's supposed to heal me. Is it because I used the first one in a swamp and it got bugged? I think the swamp bugged it. Because I used the first one when I was in a swamp. I think that's what happened. Yeah. I have bugged swamp. Corner. Now nah, it buffs my it buffs the healing I get. Ooh, legendary. Evasion evasion bonus. Alright. I wonder if I can achieve hundred percent evasion. But if the VTube model is ready, why do we have to wait until April? Because it's not ready. Because it's not ready. Look at this evasion. You can't touch me. Ow. All right. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have. Uh, I'm bugged and always have the swamp on me now. <laughs> That's unfortunate that it worked like that. That's sad. I kind of want to restart because of that. In fact, I'm going to. That's mildly irritating, but eh. it happens. It happens. I'm going to just remove swamp. Fuck the swamp. I hate the swamp. All my homies. They hate the swamp. I don't even need 12 cards. Let's add the crystal. Let's add the chrono crystals back in. The chrono crystals didn't fuck over anybody. Bad swamp. Beacon? Beacon is horrible. All it does is just increase the attack speed of the enemies. That's all it does. Alright. Alright, so... Here's what I want to try. Since we're, since we're experimenting, and I think this game's all about, like, experimenting and trying things out. The Harpies talked about needing food. So what I want to do is I want to surround a mountain with meadows. So we're going to try that out. Have you tried Grove ne next to a cemetery? I can't. Well, I guess hmm, maybe I could do it here. We can try, like, there's things we can try out. Oh, equipment, right. Uh, put that on. Put that sword. Put that on. Max HP. All right, let's go. Grove, not meadow. Oh, what would a grove and a what would a grove and a cemetery do? I don't see how those synergize together. You could try it though. Now, would I put the groves on the other side? We'll try it. I also want to see if this mountain is any better. But the, I'm pretty sure that the amount of HP you get for a mountain tile is entirely based on the original HP of your hero. Because the rogue. Because these are only giving plus 4 HP, and the warrior gave plus 5 HP. I'm pretty sure it's just based on your class of how much HP you'll get. Cemetery plus battlefield also seems pretty logical. It kind of does. Evasion bonus. Attack speed. 
now. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want that. Better evasion. All right, cool. I feel like we're doing a school project with this game. I like I like trying to like figure things out. This is actually pretty cool. Like it's it's not just placing down tiles. It's about figuring out what works with other things. Which is really cool. Okay, so we have two groves here, so we want to put a cemetery in between the two of those. So next cemetery we put right there. And we'll see if we get anything cool out of it. And down here we have the inverse, which we're going to have two cemeteries and a grove. Murder corner. It's not a murder corner! Uh, we'll take the defense. We'll take the attack speed. All right. It's a science corner. It's a science corner, chat. Okay, so yeah, the the mountain is entirely like the amount of HP you get from a mountain is entirely just based on It's entirely just based on uh, the HP of your character. All right, so let's try this out. Well, that did nothing. That did nothing. All we've done is make a murder corner. All we've done is make a murder corner. All right, keep surrounding this with meadows. It's oblivion that. I don't want to deal with them. All right. So, are these better boots? Yes. Mm, yeah, sure, I'll take the... Let's, let's get aggressive with it. I have 22 attack speed right now. Alright, let's go. Nice. That's actually really good. That's better than the evasion. Just kill them before they get a chance to attack. Doesn't it make a ghost? Uh, the ghost is the effect of the battlefield. Anything that dies has a chance to become a ghost. You can also have a ghost of a ghost, which is pretty hilarious. All these wheat fields, but no village. Every 10% of HP lost gives you a 0.5% chance to instantly deal a thousand dam a thousand percent damage. What? I'm. I'm confused how that works. So if I'm so if I'm missing 50% health, I'll have a 2.5% chance of instantly dealing a thousand percent. Is it like per attack? Does it stack forever?
I wonder if it keeps stacking. Hmm. Or does it just change with my HP? Whereas pickpocket, I know what that does. That's just resources, so I'm gonna take it. Resources are sexy. Do you parry though? Well, I don't have any counter right now, so no, I don't parry. But I could. Hey, my first village. Nice. Nice. Do I want to turn that into a vampire thing? Probably not. I don't real I I don't deal with hordes very well. I don't think vampires would be very good for the rogue right now. Counter and counter damage. Better evasion. Some defense. I desperately need the defense. Better mace. With some chunky damage. It's got damage to all. I really don't want to get rid of my attack speed, though. This is the problem. Ooh, that has counter on it. Let's actually take those instead. You know what? We're just gonna go chunky damage. We're gonna go chunky. We're gonna go chunky. There we go. Uh oh. The forest is awake. Look at all that healing. Look at all that healing. Look at all that healing. It's sexy. Look at all the vampires. I am not putting a vampire thing there. That would just be instant death. Speaking of instant death, ow. It's oblivion that camp. Man, not having any defense actually sucks. I might die. I might die to a slime. I might. If I can make it. Ooh, the counter. All right. So now I have to ask myself, am I abandoning? Am I leaving? Am I going to cry and run away like a bitch? Probably. Probably. Hmm, that's a better chest piece. Magic damage and critical damage. Ooh, that's a really good pole arm. We'll take that. That's more defense. Bum, bum, bum. Ow. 
I don't think I can take on those skeletons. But then again, I've also never died, so I kind of want to push until I die. Because I've never died before. We could see what happens on death. That sounds like fun. For science, I must kill myself. Death. Please don't hurt me. Ow! 94! I'm still alive! Barely! Oh, that's a champion slime. Uh, I'm dead in one hit. Kill me. <laughs> You've died in battle. Death does not favor the fallen, but it made a little exception for you. Oh, take all. Oh, so you can use the skull from the boss that you kill to take everything on death. Hell yeah. I'm alive? But how? Thanks to us, a small group of us dragged you here. It wasn't easy. Oh, I like how uh, their outfit changes based on the class. That's kind of cool. How could you fight off all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them vanished right before our eyes. We somehow managed to avoid, but I think most of the beasts were gone even before uh, we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memories, my friend. Everything falls apart as soon as you're unconscious. Passing through the cemetery on expeditions grants you a piece of information. Can resurrect the hero after an upgrade. Ooh. Thank you. It's a nice place, calm. There are some people, but quiet ones. They look a bit grim, but they can tell you many things if you can listen. You put the cemetery in the middle of the town? Yes. <laughs> Check the crypt. Crypt. Place near the cemetery, the final resting place of an ancient hero. Both magic and unstable state uh, of the world has taken its toll. Maybe its history will awaken some new qualities in you. Unlocks the Necromancer class. Unlocks the Astral Crypt Golden Card if the intel area is built. Ooh. All right. Astral? Was it ancestral? Okay. All right, I think we're going to take off vampires. Mostly because the rogue does not deal with groups very well. Maybe I actually maybe I should take that uh that perk that makes it so Oh yeah, Battlefield is also bad for the rogue. You're right. Hold on. Battlefield is also really bad. You know what? Let's keep vampires. But let's get rid of Battlefield. Alright. A lot of nice amount of slimes. Good, good. Everything is just bad for the rogue. The rogue just is bad. All right, I'm feeling risky. Let's throw down a vampire immediately. The poor unloved rogue. All right. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Put another grove over here. All right. 
We're gonna get this. I wanna surround a mountain with meadows. To see if it does anything. That's our current goal. Surround a meadow. Or surround a mountain with meadows. See what other combinations we can get. I wonder if there's anything later on that like helps you try and figure out these combinations, or if you have to do it purely from, you know. How come I didn't get a piece of information? It says I get a piece of information for walking through, uh... I only got a pebble. Maybe it's a chance. All right. Oh, it's only for the upgraded version? Oh, okay. A lot of evasion bonus, actually. 12% evasion. All right, cool. Well, let's do it. Not too many good weapons. Mm -hmm. All right. Do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Good. Good. We're making murder corner. No, it's just a regular ass village, man. It's not a murder corner. Not everything is a murder corner. Not everything is a murder corner. Everything is kind of evenly spread out here, and it's mostly slimes that are on the map. So we can handle this. Let's, look at that. Let's get a nice heal. Ooh, damage to all defense, crit damage chance. Yes. Unless one of these is just as better. That's a lot of evasion. <laughs> That's a whole lot of evasion. All right. Now how much evasion am I looking at? 18% evasion now. All right. Evasion and defense. Two defense feels like it'd be pretty good. Considering that, you know, you've literally got none. over here so I can get more healing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, level up. Plus three HP after kill. 10% chance to simultaneously attack two targets or get three different traits. Hmm. I think I'd say... Oh, that's so hard. This one... 
it, it's really hard to take here. So this would give me some HP on kill, which would be nice. But this makes it so I kill my enemies faster, so I take less damage. Both of them increase my effective HP. The question is, which one do I want? I think I'm going to take Master of Fencing, because Master of Fencing is going to scale better. I think fencing scales a lot better right now. Why is he not using the mountain tiles to make the peak? Because the mountains, or this, this mountain peak is the same value no matter what you use to build with it. So I just put the one mountain there to make the peak, and then I surround it with rocks. That's why. Now we're trying out surrounding the mountain with uh, with meadows to see if it does anything. Because the harpies complained about food. So we're going to try and give the harpies food. Alright, new weapons. Let's see what we got here. More HP, magic defense, regular defense, and crit damage chance. Yeah, that's pretty much a straight up upgrade. Uh, no, we don't want that. Crit damage chance. Take that over the level two item. And that's slightly better. Uh, attack speed. I do want attack speed. 18% evasion, damn. I think we want to get as many villages down as I can for quests. Because that's really the rogue's main source of healing right now is those villages. Well, putting three crypts in a row doesn't do anything, sadly. Alright. I need another rock. I need another rock. Bandits, my lord. I'll keep them active. I'll keep them active for now. We're... I think we can be a little bit more aggressive. Because I'm currently... Like... I'm keeping full HP. Like, per loot. So, we're not really getting overwhelmed yet. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Better evasion. Better crit damage chance. Sure, we'll take those boots. No, no. That's some pretty hefty evasion. That's definitely a better axe there. Evasion bonus. Ooh, we do have some pretty... 38 evasion. I like it. 38 evasion. Uh, we've already tried Grove with Swamp and Spider Cocoon. They don't really do anything. It just bloats, it, bloats the field. Hey. I don't remember you. You don't look like a local. That's because I'm not. I see. And you think you can just wander into these parts without consequences. Times are rough, you know. Nothing to bite. Nothing to wet one's whistle. And we have to deal with strangers who have no sympathy for our poverty. What? You think you're better than us? No. 
Did I guess right? Is this the correct answer? Because I'm getting the impression this is one of those cases where my answer has zero influence on what happens next. Well, you've got insight. And it's the only thing that'll keep, uh, that you will keep today. Uh, I don't want that one. Blech. Come to think of it, murderers and thieves are part of this world too. If my mission is to return everything back to normal, should I be happy that they're appearing again? On the other hand, being disgusted with murder and theft is also part of the world, so I guess I don't owe it to anyone to be happy. Damn, that deep. <laughs> evade! 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 Let's get a blood tree going. Two blood trees. Look at look at me, chat, spreading out all the enemies so that way I don't create a murder corner. Are you proud of me? I'm proud of me. I'm proud of me. One more meadow. I don't think this is going to do anything, but we'll see. Nice murder loop. <laughs> Ow. Ow, these skeletons hit hard. Quest done. Level up. Picky. Lowers the quantity of items received on the camp tile by three, while increasing the quality of exchange for trophies. Sure. Three less pieces of loot, but better loot in general. Check my orange boots. I already did. I don't want them. Well, it didn't do anything. Eh. Eh. Yes, but what about four cemeteries? Level eight dirt. That's a girthy dirk. Goithy. Goithy doik. Mmm, kind of want that defense. But I also like the evasion. Uh, that's not better, is it? No. Wait, it's 1% better. Oh, but that lowers my bonus. No, that lowers my bonus, so no, that actually wasn't better. Chat, if Baru loses the game on purpose, would that mean he threw us for a loop? Ru think. <laughs> Shut up. Ban that man. Ban that man. <laughs> All right. But what about five cemeteries in a row? Surely that's the key to victory here is five cemeteries in a row. Nope, 
All I'm doing is creating a path of blood. A blood path, if you will. And I'm going to be on it. Oh god. Quest. Ooh. New chest. Counter, crit chance, crit damage, max HP. Yes. Sexy. Sexy. It's just the bone zone now. <laughs> Welcome to the bone zone. looks like hell. Yeah, no, this, this looks like death. Ow. 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 Pain and agony. <laughs> Is this becoming a homicide triangle? <laughs> it's becoming something, all right. Now, if there's only one, I can actually kill him before he gets to do anything. I'm so close. I think I have to abandon here. Two rat wolves will kill me. I have to abandon. I have to abandon. Or we play the evasion game. What's the play here, chat? Gamba. This is a pretty big Gamba. This is a pretty big Gamba. We should leave. But the town is right there, dude. Thirty percent resources if I die. Sixty percent resources if I leave now. One hundred percent resources if I win. I'm pretty sure they one-shot me, too. Alright, I'm gonna play it safe. Let's get out of here. I'm a coward. Boo! Boo! Let's go back to the warrior. Yeah, let's go back to warrior. Which means let's throw on the battlefield again. Throw on the spider cocoon. Take off the chrono crystals. Try the necromancer? I don't have the necromancer. Alright. Full warrior's gill. What about a road lantern? Eh, I don't know.
Let's put the spider cocoon like right here. Get a nice big old pile of spiders by the time I reach them. Oh, hell yeah. Let's just get a nice big old pile of spiders. Look at that. Look at those spiders. It's like a murder corner. Just some nice cocoons, dude. It's okay. First loop won't kill me. First loop won't kill me here. Mm, slightly better. Slightly better. Get some wheat fields. Get some regen going. All right. Nice. Ooh, treasury. Yeah, this is nice. This is some pretty good XP. Look at that. We got 59 XP on the first loop. I'd say that's pretty decent. I'd say that's pretty deesh. Pretty deesh. King Slime. I have a better idea of how I want to do treasuries. But it requires four treasuries to pull off. This is the problem. Alright, let's get a grove. You know, let's actually put a grove down here. We're creating a murder corner. We are creating a murder corner, chat. I am acknowledging the murder corner. But it's going to be a Super murder corner. Here's the thing. The spiders are very, like, low damage. So as long as it's just spiders, I really don't have to worry too much. Like, I can stack spiders all day. It doesn't really affect me too much. I would like a new weapon. Hopefully I can get a new weapon here. Ooh, there we go. New shield. Very nice. New weapon as well. Good amount of evasion. Ooh, new chest piece. I don't even have to look at the things there. It's just a straight up upgrade. Legendary chest piece. Not bad. All right, we got evasion and vampirism ring. Uh, that's not better. Cool. Try putting three villages together? I could. I could try. Now I want a blood tree. Yeah, see? Now, the rat wolves don't even hit that much harder, so. Uh. I'd rather have the counter attack speed and magic damage. Because the more I'm countering, the better my chances are here. Now, I could go ahead and put down some vampires and turn this into a big old... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, dude. Okay. Oh, level up. Every counterattack restores three times loop HP. So this would restore 12 HP per counterattack. That sounds dope. 
Okay, so we want to stack as much counterattack as possible. We want to counterattack everything. And let's start our graveyard over here. Yeah. So if it has counter on it, we're in a good place. Yeah, we're just looking for a really high counter. And this will be our thing there. Let's get another village down. Let's oblivion that bandit camp. We'll fill this with groves. There we go. We're making a proper murder corner. A proper murder corner. Mm-hmm. Baru, please stop. Nope. Nothing will stop me. Run from it. Dread it. Stupidity arrives all the same. And the goblins? The goblins I want to get rid of. The goblins I'm not a big fan about. Okay. I'm not really countering all that much. I'm going to die. <laughs> if Terry's murder and I turn the corner, am I still in the murder corner, or is it now just murder in a corner I'm no longer in? Rue think. All right, so maybe don't put that many things on the map at once. Maybe don't make a murder. Okay, so I I say don't make a murder corner. And then I make a murder corner, right? You know, that's what ends up happening. I say, Baru, don't make a murder corner. Don't stack that many things. You can't handle that much shit. Less talk, more murder corners. Well, let's start our good old graveyard. Let's start the good old graveyard. The graveyard of death. Uh, get an early village here. Put a cemetery over here, away from the other cemeteries that I've already put down. All right. Murder village. Murder corners. Murder Corners clearance sales today. Come now and get two Murder Corners for the price 1-1. 100% death guaranteed. 
No, there will be no murder corners. Okay? There will be no murder corners here. I think that one just spawned on top of me. It did. Alright. Bump. 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 Yeah. All right. Let me try a little stabbing corner then. A little stabbing corner. Ooh. Very nice. Look at that, a treasure chest. A treasure chest. Uh, max HP. I don't know. Counterattack. Attack speed and vampirism. Yes. Counter regen and more damage. Yes. Then how about a murder line? That part on the left side seems suitable enough for that, Roos Monk. <laughs> just a more, just a moida straight shot. You know, just a murder straight shot. Do I want vampires anywhere? That's the question. Do I want to put vampires down? Question is, where would I put them? We'll put them here. Away from everything right now. Ooh. Better vampirism, regen, defense, and magic damage. Nice. the attack speed. I'll keep my vampirism right now. 27% vampirism. 27% Ooh, or we could go regen build. I do love my regen. I think regen's probably better early on. But then vampirism probably scales better later. Yeah. Regen is so nice. It's really hard to say no to that much regen. Alright. Oh, we got our we got our battlefield down. Alright, so stacking two battlefields on top of each other will turn this into a blood path. Regen's probably better when you do a mur murder corner because you have more time between the murder corners. I think regen's just better in general in every way. Like, regen's just really nice. Ooh. Counter, evasion, vampirism, and more damage. It's literally got all the survivability stats on it. And damage. That's really good. Like, if every piece of gear had this roll, counter evasion vampirism, I think I would just be able to roll everything. Do cemeteries do anything with villages? I don't know, actually. I haven't put a cemetery next to a village. I would imagine they would. Maybe? Counter doesn't prevent damage. No, but it deals more damage. 
which killing your enemy faster. Killing your enemy faster means that you spend less time in combat. Less time in combat. Oh, uh, no, I'll we'll keep the regen. Less time in combat means that you take less damage. So it's good. 1.8 regen. Yes. I'm rocking 3.6 regen per second right now. Hey, our first uh, cocoon. Put it over here. Oh, level up. What do we got? So we got buckler. Counter attack restores 3 HP. Hard sharp. Supplies. The hero leaves 10% of his findings in the camp when passing through a campfire tile. That's the safe bet. Nah, give me buckler, dude. Gimme buckler. Alright. Supplies seems really good. Supplies is really good if you plan on being extremely risky slash greedy. Buckler seems really bad. It's really good if I had high uh, counter. If I had super high counter, then it would be pretty good. Ooh, actually, speaking of which, let's take that. That's a counter attack ring. That's a better counter attack ring. Yeah, so every time I counter, I'm now going to start healing. Slightly less counter for some vampirism. Which is good because that means my, uh, my counter attack will also heal me. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and get some more meadows. Get another one of those down. Get some mountain ranges going. Okay. Alright. What do we got here? Damage to all evasion. Nah. Although I should be looking for a new chest piece soon, because this one's pretty underleveled. Is this even, is Buckler even healing me? Because I should be healing for more than he actually is dealing damage. Because he hits for, he hits for 12, I counter. I should heal for more. You only heal for three? It's three per loop. Every counterattack restores three times loop HP. So that'd be 15 HP. So I should not take damage from his 14. Might be bugged. Maybe it only counts once you start getting it. Uh, good. That worries me because I gave up my regen for the counter.
Yeah, it's just not healing me at all. I'm going to try restarting my game here. I'm going to try restarting my game. It wouldn't surprise me if it was bugged. Oh, I lost everything. No. No mid run saves. Well, good to know about that now. Yeah, there's a very good chance that I needed to restart my game because of the swamp bug. So I've been playing on hard mode this whole time. Mm -hmm. Swamp bug? Uh, yeah. Swamp bug. Basically, I deleted a swamp while I was standing on top of it, and I picked up a perk that increased my health by 10% every time I delete something. But because I was standing on a swamp, which reduces my health, it bugged the game out, and I think that bug has just been on me this entire time. <laughs> Alright. In other words, fuck the swamp. All my homies hate the swamp. Alright. MLK and Maximus, as well as Jim Jam, like the seven. Might be a bit early for this, but we're going to try it anyway. Oh god, it might be way too early for this. Way too early. We are not nearly powerful enough. some regen here. We need some regen here. another rat thing over here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it doesn't save that option. Wish it did. Alright, this magic damage should definitely help carve through him. There we go. Here goes my last potion. Yeah, I'm a little worried about that. Uh, if I don't find something good here soon, we're going to have some problems. We're going to have some problems. I 
Because I don't know if I don't know if I'm gonna be able to kill or survive another loop. I don't know if I'm gonna survive another loop with this ransacked village. I think we did it way too early. Uh, it looks like he has two ring slots, does he not? No, I only have four actual inventory slots. These four right here are the only four I have to work with. Thank you. Reject balance. Return to murder corner room. Counter and evasion. A lot of damage. There we go. Damage to all and defense. Very nice. Return to murder corner. All right, here we go. This guy hurts a lot. More defense, more vampirism. Level up, give me something nice. 35% chance to perform a counterattack during an evade. That's pretty good. Alright, we survived. But for how much longer will we survive? How much longer will we live? That was a pretty nice upgrade. Hey, maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get destroyed less now. Looks like I am. Hell yeah. Let's put a cemetery over here. I know that we're basically dying, but you know. Oh good, champion, champion spider. Okay. Alright, that actually wasn't that bad at all. That, however, does not look pleasant. I'm gonna oblivion these guys. I don't like the goblins. The goblins are a pain in my ass. Alright, this should be the final loop, I think. So after this, I won't have to deal with the ransacked village anymore. And instead, we'll have the good village. There's our first treasury. Death chill, thank you, dude. Thanks for subbing. Yeah, I want to upgrade the potion so that they're a little bit better. Also, this evade giving me counterattack is really nice for my damage. So now I just want evasion and vampirism. Evasion vampirism. Those are the go to's. I do want a battlefield. We'll put it here. Good old battlefield. All right, put that down. <laughs> Do you unlock the other time slots? Uh, uh, the other item slots over time? Yes, I think, maybe, I don't know. And that was a roller coaster of emotions. Yes, I think, maybe, I don't know. 3.0 regen? Yep, taking that. Regen is really good. Get our other battlefield down, turning us into a blood path. Get our meadows down. Get our other wheat field down. 
And let's move on. Meow, 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 meow. There we go. No longer need to deal with a ransacked village. Good, good. Meow, 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 meow. How's the game so far? I really like it. It's actually pretty fun. It's kind of addicting. Please tell me I do more than eight. So I'm pretty sure you need to use magic damage against undead. And that's why I do basically dick for damage against these guys. It's looking like he's like almost having, like more than having my regular damage. Ooh, what's this? Defense and counter. Nice. Defense and defense. Regen defense and magic. Mm, more regen. I'll take that. And more damage. Regen is king, dude. Regen is king. All right, let's put that down. So now we have a new quest. And these quests are gonna get better rewards. Good, good. Uh, more regen? No, counter and regen. Nah, I like I like my current thing. I like the magic damage. The magic damage seems very powerful. get much from him and we're about to level up I think we can go ahead and get another let's get another ransacked village since we already have a Lord's land and we get a heal immediately after it too so well not immediately but very close after level up blade of dawn every morning the hero's sword is filled with sunlight Causing its next attack to deal times two damage to all. Interesting. Or Oblivion. Oblivion. So... Real quick, I want to see if it's fixed. Well, I need to take damage first. <laughs> so I've taken some damage. Why is it not healing me? Oblivion cards heal the hero for 10% of his max HP.
Okay. Yeah, I don't know why it's uh why it's like this, but kind of annoying. Uh it's bugged, the effect works properly in the demo. Okay. Alright. Uh yeah, we'll take the level seven sword. That's kind of annoying that it's bugged like that. Yeah, that's mildly irritating. Spear way more. I like that shield more. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it works in the demo. I doubt it's bugged in the demo, because it works as it's intended on the card. Because this is supposed to heal me, but it very much doesn't. Speaking as a developer, you might be able to fix it by entering another swamp. What, it just thinks my character's perpetually in a swamp? For all eternity? I mean, I've had dumber things happen before to me, so... That's not the dumbest workaround I've ever heard. True, if it thought the swamp was there, then it would the then the uh then the regen would be hurting me. Which the regen isn't hurting me. Alright. this regenerative counter yes i think my game might just be bugged or something cuz like the um the the buckler skill literally doesn't work at all like the buckler skill that's supposed to heal me on counter literally doesn't work 
I don't have it. I don't have it right now. But in previous runs, when I did have it, it did not work. Bader Testa Baru at it again. It's what I'm here for, man. It's what I'm here for. A lot of defense. I feel like 12 defense might be better than uh, 3, well, not 12 defense, 9 defense better than 1.2 regen. Thank you. How do you feel about the game overall? PS Oblivion is hurting you, I think. I know Oblivion is hurting me. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about Oblivion hurting me. That's a lot of attack speed, damn. Ghost of a ghost! Prime Matter! So you can have a ghost of a ghost of a ghost. I wonder if that goes any further. I have to know if that goes any deeper. Double ghost. I mean, it's actually really nice for XP. Yeah, that prime matter gives quite a bit of XP. Uh, give me three new traits. Give me the regen skill. Give me the yeet. Give me the yeet. I guess we'll start our rock collection down here. Point eight regen per second, which is then doubled. Yes, Let's continue our rock collection. I want to destroy this, but I also can't because I'll lose all my HP. Two point four regen, more regen. Yeah, the amount of health I get from that regen now. It's 10 health per second. That's pretty insane. No. 
The only downside is, is that it looks real, real scuffed. Like, I'm constantly at a tiny little bit of HP. If I could get more evasion, we'd be pretty solid. Evasion and regen are the two stats that I want. Nah, I can't give up my regen right now. That's better regen. More regen. Twelve health per second. Start our rock collection down here. Which means I'm healing for almost the same amount as she's dealing. Lower regen. No, we don't want it. We need regen and evasion. No. Regen and evasion. Stop hurting me. Stop hurting me. All right. Villages heal, right? Yeah, the villages will heal me. Like I said, this looks extremely scary and scuffed because I'm always on 30% HP. I don't know if we can kill the boss with this setup is the problem. I don't think we can. Because he does way more than... Uh, hold on. Let me check my numbers here. <clears throat> 30 HP. Per attack. Yeah, I can't heal through a one shot. If he just taps me from 31 to zero, we've got a problem here. Nope. Nope. This is a lot of bandits. Okay. This is looking extra, extra scuff. Uh-huh. <gasps> Yay! One less ransacked village I gotta deal with. Nice. So naturally, let's make a third one. Not using the cards at all that you have? Well, you'll see this little bar up here. When this bar is filled up, the boss spawns. As we said before, I can't really deal with the boss. In addition, most of these things spawn enemies, which I'm dying. That'd be very bad. Try three adjacent villages? I could try that. Also, skeletons hit very hard. Please give me more. Please give me more regen. That's all I ask for. Oh, that's a lot of damage. And it's got 10% counter and 10% evasion. Fuck. Gotta take it. 
I just lost a lot of regen, but I gotta take it. Yeah, I'm slowly dying right now. Can I make it to the village? Because the village will heal me. Uh, 12% vampirism. 1.8% regen with more magic. Yes. That's got regen, defense, damage to all. Hey, chat, do remember Ruandis? We need that back. Chat together, strong Ru cult. Yeah, I gotta put on that vampiring. <laughs> ah, I don't know about this one, Chief. Don't know about that one, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> So wait, what happened? Will this kill me? <laughs> yeah. Yes, it will. Supply Depot. Good news. We've come up with a list of things we need. I won't say they're absolutely necessary, but they would make our lives a bit better. We can't keep eating from the ground while the food is, uh, while the food is also the ground. And then we go to sleep on the same, you know, ground. I'm exaggerating, of course. I just want you to get the idea. If you stumble upon a good piece of furniture, an instrument, or anything of use, remember the place. Uh, and take a wagon there. Uh, and we'll see that your findings go to the right person. Supply? Craft? Cheese. Plus one HP after killing an enemy. Meat stew. Receive five additional HP when passing through a village. Oh. Nice. So that's cool. Well, that's all I got for now. Yeah, that's all I got for now. Anything else I can build? Nope, not yet. Don't have enough metal to make a smithy. So let's do a rogue run now. Ooh, ruins. This existence of this civilization ended long before the Lich's curse, but uh, it remains can still be of use to you. Gives a random resource shard upon visit, spawns a scorch worm every two days. That sounds sexy. Scorch worm. Oh yeah, can I uh, upgrade it all? No. I used all my supplies building. Alright. Expedition. 
Let's try and get a win as the rogue. Now that we actually heal per kill... I mean, it's only one HP, but, you know, it's still healing. Oh, we, right, we wanted to try and take the swamp. Hold on. I'm gonna laugh if this actually fixes all of our issues. I'm gonna laugh if this fix all of our issues. Why not restart the game? One, two, three, four. What? What is this? Oh, that's much better. Yeah, sometimes you can get some really shit luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And yeah, I've already tried restarting my game. It didn't do anything, sadly. Look at all these corners. Look at all these corners to get ourselves killed in, chat. Doesn't this look sexy? Like a sexy little death, death corner? I think it looks sexy as hell. Can you create a 2x2 two two vampire mansion? Uh... Technically, yes. I could put vampires... I could build a 2x2 two two vampire here. I don't know if it would do anything. But I could do it. I would just... <laughs> vampire ghetto. <laughs> Uh. Alright, see what we got here. That's better than nothing. That's better than nothing. Slight upgrade there. Less HP, more attack speed. Massive HP. Magic damage, damage to all defense. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. healing up for our one HP per kill here. Alright. I want to build a 2x2 two two vampire. Just because I think it'd be hilarious. Wide vampires. <laughs> then build a town in front. <laughs> yes. Nobody will survive. I have a lot of wheat fields. Ooh, what's this? 
Attack speed and counter. Very nice. Evasion and counter. Better sword. Slightly better than that. Uh, you know, actually, we'll just take the massive HP bonus. Yeah, there we go. You're turning this into Australia? Nice. Alright, I have walked through the swamp. The swamp beckons me to the other side. Now let's put it right here for now. That's a lot of spiders. Spider ruin? Spider ruin sounds very scary. I don't know what a scorch worm is, so we're not going to mess with it right away. Level up. You know, let's take the HP. So now I heal for 4 HP per kill. Plus my vampirism. not healing me. I'm not healing for, for kill. I think my game is actually bugged. Like, legit. I think my game is bugged. I think it's bugged, dude. definitely losing health when I'm in the swamp but it's not healing me yeah it's not healing me I'm losing HP when I'm in the swamp you saw three the th okay so the three that you're seeing pop out is my vampirism the three is my vampirism on hit when I kill them it should be more See? Okay, so let's take a look at our HP here. We're at 334. Okay. We're at 2... We're at 323. Okay, he did damage. So I didn't actually see how much I had left over. Chat, ignore this. This 4 is the vampirism, not the on kill. Okay, so we're at 284. I'm at 284. It literally doesn't heal me. I'm 
I'm literally not being healed for kills. Try on betas, people. Yeah, the demo, apparently all these skills work. But playing it now, apparently it doesn't? Which really sucks. All right, so we're gonna try something different real quick because I'm I I'm going insane. Maybe I'd try. You're on V one point nine. Yeah, that's the version that they sent me. I I don't. <laughs> This hurts my brain. I, I don't know what to do. <sighs> it's very, it's very odd because it's, I feel like I this wasn't bugged in the, at the start. It all happened from when I destroyed that swamp while standing on it. I'm going to uninstall, reinstall, make a new save, and then try and see if it's still bugged. Because all I have to do is get to the level up. If I level up, then we're fine. Okay, hold on. Uh, loop hero. I really like this game, but get, damn, that's annoying. I may have to wait for a patch because half my skills damaging me instead of healing me like they're supposed to is kind of making this uh, a bit difficult to play, which is frustrating because I really enjoy the game. Skip tutorial. Okay. All right, let's just, let's try an expedition here. Bug reported, devs got. Is it is it a like is it a confirmed thing, Clara? Cause man, I really would love to play the 1.0 version right now. I would I would really enjoy to play the 1.0 version. Not confirmed, just affirming that you've been heard and the message has been sent looking for info. Okay, good, because I won't lie, it's uh fairly infuriating. Fairly infuriating. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> two by two vampire mansion, if only. Glad we start over, um, because our thing is currently bugged, uh, and I'm trying to see if deleting that swamp somehow permanently screwed over my save file. Because every single skill that's supposed to heal me currently is not, which I could understand a one-off skill being bugged. I could understand a single skill being bugged, but having every single healing skill not work feels like not right. Is there a fast forward button? Not really. I can make it slower. Um, no, Cap Cap, because in the demo, the Oblivion skill heals you. There is a fast forward button. It is called Enable Speed Act in Cheat Engine, Rue 5 Head. True. But yeah, the ability works in... The ability works in the demo. As well as, like, every other form of healing. Ghost of a ghost! I like that y'all just have that ready. <laughs> Which I don't think there's any benefit to killing a ghost of a ghost. I don't think there's any benefit to killing a ghost of a ghost without the XP. What do the rock and the mountains do? Uh, they increase my maximum health. So the meadows give me healing every single day, which that top bar is the day progress. So when that fills up, it's now a new day. Really, I don't need vampire mansions. They don't really do anything for me right now. I don't think. Until I get XP, they're kind of worthless. Yeah, in the meantime, honestly, I, should, I don't even need, like, spiders or anything. There we go. I do want to get rid of that, though. Mountain. I guess it helps me get more stuff. Yeah, spiders are easy kills, so, and that'll spawn more mountains for me to use. But I don't get anything for fighting ghosts. Never mind, actually, I do get loot for fighting ghosts, so that's actually still good. Ghost of a ghost! Alright, let's get the treasury. A 
it's got regen on it. I want the I need the regen early on. Oh, work that up. All right, this is a very important question. Since Sam will be or the panda will be on Sam's lap, will we be able to use channel points to pet uh, to have Sam pet the panda? Uh, maybe. Maybe pet the panda. Oh yeah, I gotta change the font. There we go. Alright. I can't use that yet. I guess I can put it up here. More rations, more metamorphosis. <laughs> nah, I don't want to give. I don't want to give away that much regen. Okay, that's the goblins now that they're attacking me. Buff an upgrade. Oh yeah. I kind of just ignore the white gear half the time, even though it's like a huge upgrade. I just see white gear. I'm like, nope, don't need it. Don't need it. I did stop by Phazon. I did. Uh, that's got regen on it. We're gonna need that. I'll take the hit the damage for some defense. Just so I take less damage. Uh, no, I don't want that. Don't want that. Defense and regen, like, defense and regen stacking seems like the way to go until the healing skills are fixed. Also, if I, if I, if it ends up being bugged again after I can level up, then I'm just going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Cry? I guess cry. I'm not, I know about the ring. I'm not gonna use it. I like my regen way too much. Play Dead God? I guess, I guess we'll switch games. Or I can attempt to progress even with the... I won't lie, I like the idea of attempting to progress. Deathless Pep and W. I like the idea of trying to progress even through the shitty system. The game itself is not shitty, but it's just a bug. Same regen, but with magic damage. I'll take that. So I'm gonna need more I'm gonna need more wood. So I need to build a lot more groves. Yeah, I think this I think we should get rid of these spiders. Get rid of all those spiders, man. They're not doing me any favors right now. Uh, I'll sack the Thank you. 
Ooh, that's a lot of defense, actually. Golden Boomer might still be alive. Who knows what happened to old and boomer? Oh, that's good. Do spiders combo with anything? No, they're usually they're really just there for XP and loot. That's really the only value spiders have. Yep, that's way better. Yeah, I only have the one ring slot right now. I can't wear more than what's currently on me. I'll take that evasion. Treasury to fill. I like putting treasuries right next to each other, so that way I use I take up less space. Alright. More maximum HP. I assume Harpy Mountain didn't do anything. Uh, no, the, I mean, it gives me uh, these metamorphoses. Like a ton of those. Yeah, it gives me a ton of metamorphosis. I also want more cemeteries. There we go. More cemeteries. But yeah, it gives it gives a massive bonus health when you first build it, is really all it does. There we go. Surprised I haven't gotten another battlefield yet. I think that's honestly the reason to build vampires. Oh, hey, look, there's my battlefield. Is that, I think they have a higher chance of giving you the, the like the good item. Is surrounding the mountain with meadows end up not doing anything? Nope. Sadly not. Of course, I haven't tried a mountain surrounded by meadows. Like, just a regular mountain. Which, I could try that. No idea if it would do anything, though. Update in 20 minutes? Wait. Update in 20 minutes? Hog! Game's being fixed! Hoggers! Wait, who are you? Are you just one guy in chat? Are you a dev? Are you one guy? Wait a minute. <laughs> John Dev. Where's the developer? Where is he? Bring me the developer. I have an affiliate code or something uh, back if I purchase the game. This game is on Steam. 
so. Steam doesn't like affiliate programs. So no. All your money goes to Gaben. Although, if the devs are listening, a times three speed would be nice. A times three speed option would be pretty dope. close to the end. Uh, sure, I'll take the vampirism. Everyone al always wants a faster game mode. This game is an idle game. It's supposed to go fast. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, when you counter, it resets your attack timer. Does it? I mean, it would make sense. Yeah, it does. Yes, it does. 3.6 regen? Holy shit. 3.6 regen on a single item. Holy poggers, dude. So I wonder if using Oblivion will reduce the boss. It does. Nice. Huzzah. My regen is too powerful for you. This means that if you if you want to stack counter, you should never take attack speed. Attack speed is worthless. If you're going to go a counter build. beat the boss on my first attempt. I do have a ridiculous amount of regen. And let's add even more regen. 7.2 regen. Why does he not have a level? Because we're restarting a new campaign to see if it's a, like a bug. I'm literally actively, like, QA testing. I am actively QA testing. <laughs> but... Clara said that there would be a uh, update in about 20 minutes, so... Clara, you have my full permission to just at-spam me one-man-spam style when it's active. 
since you are the only one that would know. Finish the treasure? I don't want to finish it till I pass the campfire. All right, chat. Get get ready to get ready to jam. All right, get your jammers ready. Here we go. to finish off my mountain. Get rid of as many of those lich's palaces as possible. Can you check the effect of three battlefields on top of each other? I guess I could if I get another battlefield. I hope there's something in this game that'll, like, teach you what everything does. Instead of going through pure trial and error. I mean, granted, if it does go through pure trial and error, I wouldn't be mad. Double nine armor. I like the regen on my current armor more. Plus, I can save this as a no-shit heal. Although that's probably more effective HP. <laughs> trial and error. I, I'm not opposed to trial and error. If that's how they want you to do it, I'll do it. I'm just curious if there's like a, a hint system of like, hey, have you have you tried this? No? Maybe do that then. Man, this would have been an instant win if I was, you know, actually had level ups. I think the road lamps are actually a lot better than I give them credit for. Like, I took off these road lanterns, but they're a lot better than I thought they would be. They pretty much reduce the maximum, like, amount of enemies on the map by one. So they're actually really good. More regen. Sign me up. Uh, mods, feel free to at me in the normal channel if I miss Clara's message. I thought evasion would be the go-to stat, but it seems like for the warrior, regen is king. Like, regen is so busted. Who cares about trying to dodge when you can just face tank every single attack? Mm 
<laughs> the update's gonna make regen damage instead of heal me as well. Please don't say that. Don't say those words to me. So what's this? What's this gray bar below my attack? Stamina? What's stamina? So like you notice the so the blue bar here, this blue bar filling up. Hard to kind of see, but if you zoom in, there's a little blue bar going across. That's my attack timer. Below it is a little gray bar that goes down every time I attack. So what happens when that goes to zero? Am I just unable to evade when that bar is empty? That's probably there to prevent you from stacking evade slash counterattack spam. Uh, we're definitely... I want the 2.4 regen, but the damage is huge. boss time. I don't know if we can kill this boss. Would 5% vampirism be better? I don't know. <laughs> no potions? Yeah, no potions, no nothing. I don't even know if you can win this. Ooh. 20% vampirism might be better once my damage scales up a bit. How much do I hit him for? I hit him for 40. So that would be plus 8 damage per attack. What's my attack? What's my... How long does it take for me to attack? Let's uh, throw on the vampirism. Oh yeah. That's a lot of healing. That's a lot of healing, dude. Holy shit. Easy win, baby. Easy win. No potions. No level up. I don't need any of that shit. Alright. I think I just got an achievement for beating it on my first attempt.
He literally went. That was surprisingly easy. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm just trying to get to the thing here and see if it, like... I'm literally doing a QA test right now. I'm literally doing a QA test. Alright, so let's get old Cheat Engine up and running now. Cheat Engine! Cheat Engine! Let's go ahead and take that, take this, we'll put that on, we'll make a mountain. What are we doing? Alright, none of those are what I'm looking for. None of those are what I'm looking for. Those are what I'm looking for. I need another level up. I need yet another level up. All right. Go get him, champ. Hold on. Alright, go. <laughs> Alright. Uh, apparently it's updated. Yep, there's an update. There's an update, chat! I think. Hold up. It didn't 
go through. Uh, properties. Let's see here. Local files, verify. Uh, but anyway, the bug has apparently been fixed, and they are deploying an update. Boop. Man, I've never seen a bug get fixed so fast. Boop. That was fast. Uh, it's not in yet. It's not in just yet. Alright. Well, we can just do a regular run while we wait for the update. We can just do a regular run while we wait for an update. The poor dev team. Apparently it is midnight in Russia. It's a four man team. They noticed I encountered a bug and we're like, let's fix it. And then they just got it done in like five minutes. That's impressive. They, these people don't sleep. These people don't sleep. It's fixing for streamers. Although, to be honest, like, let's be real here. You know why they were able to fix it so fast? Do you know why they were able to fix it so quickly, chat? Because with a small dev team, everybody on the team knows how the code works, so any of them can do the update. They don't have, like, 50 people on the task, and they're like, fuck, I don't know what we're going through. I don't know what the hell Jim did. I don't gotta worry about Jim. There is no Jim. There is no gym. <laughs> what are these things? Scorch worms. Ten HP. Archer. Takes part in battle on adjacent tiles. Ranged combat. Third row. Minus 30% damage in second row. Minus 60% damage in the first row. Oh. So if I have an enemy here and fight it, they will then attack from that tile. So I want to keep my ruins one tile apart. Gotcha. I want to keep my ruins one tile apart. Devs in chat, by the way? Yeah. I got that. I got that much. Devs, thanks for fixing the game on very short notice. I appreciate that. A ya ya. A ya, a ya yo. 
E-I-E-I-E-O It's like this, you get ordered to fix a bug in Jim's code and Jim is on vacation. <laughs> you open it up and, five days later there is a giant voodoo circle on your floor and you are performing sacrifices to the code gods in order to deepen your understanding of Jim's code. <laughs> this game is great because numbers go up. This is accurate. Sword, nice. All right, so let's go ahead, put some more rocks down. That'll summon the goblin army, which I don't like, but it is what it is. All right, can't place those meadows just yet, but I can put a blood grove here. Yeah, blood. that. Ooh, 2.4 regen? Thank you. <laughs> Don't want to put that down just yet on them. There we go. That'll prevent any enemies from spawning here, so that way I never have to deal with the worms ever actually causing problems. So far, wheat field seems pretty bad. I mean, it might be useful for other things, but for the most part. Remember how I said that would prevent enemies from spawning? You think I care? You think I care? I'll blow them up. I don't care. Give me a full hand of death. Give me an entire hand of death. Hey, I must well destroy the goblin camp too. Because the goblin camp literally gives me nothing. Not fixed. Oh, the update hasn't gone through yet. There's no update yet. Alright. Is there a resource? you have to spend to play cards or are they free i mean these cards these enemies are quote unquote free to play but when you spawn when you make more enemies spawn it's going to make your life harder so you have to keep that in mind you have to ask yourself am i gaining or losing health every loop because if you're losing health every loop and you add more shit you're just going to die faster Can you oblivion a wheat field? I could. Vamps, by the way. Rudy! Use that level five axe. Now nah, I'm keeping my regen. Regen is king. Regen is king.
Yeah, Ruins Village, Ruins Village seems like the way to go for that. That's the exact same shield, but with one extra defense. I'll take it. Uh, it's got some regen, but a lot less damage. There we go. Now keep the regen. Mm, now nah, we're good. Honestly, I just want to I just want to snake the entire hey, path with tried the demo after seeing you play. I can't wait for this game to come out through duck. Yeah. <laughs> Does the Oblivion heal work yet? Uh not yet. Update isn't out yet. Orb of expansion. Antique shell. Plus one max HP for every resource gained during this expedition. That's... Whoa. That's huge, dude. That's an insane item. What? That seems excessively good. Glad I put that there. <laughs> All right. Do I want any of these? Nope. Nope. That HP isn't worth losing the vampirism and evasion for. Anything I want to get rid of? Get rid of the vampires. I don't need them. Alright, let's go. Honestly, I'm probably going to destroy those wheat fields and put a ruin. Yeah, I'm going to actually. Like a two by two vampire? Nah. Vampirism attack speed and damage to all. Sure. Plus, these fireworms actually give a ton of XP. Yeah, they give a ridiculous amount of XP. Armor is increased by one after every loop. Sure. So how do you win this game? Very carefully. Ooh, more regen. Upgrade your armor. I need to look at things. That's got regen on it. Yeah, more regen. Oh, regen. Better shield and armor. Just because the number is higher does not mean that it is better.
Like, yes, the shield is, in fact, one level higher than the previous shield and has more defense, but lacks attack speed, regen, and vampirism. Thus making the shield objectively worse than the shield that I'm currently wearing. Garlic. Plus two damage against all vampires. Interesting item. So you can make an actual vampire village with that. Eighteen percent vampirism. Nope, I sleep. I sleep. Currently napping. More ruins. any good that's one extra damage Og. one whole damage one whole damage yeah I don't want the yellow mace that's got 10 less no 12 less damage I mean, yeah, it does damage to all, but meh. I say meh. Mediocre. Now that is a good sword. Yeah, as long as you fight these guys in the... As long as you fight these guys, like on par with them oh my god now that is a good now that's a good mace that is a good mace that's got counter and regen on it that's got even more regen on it plus attack speed attack speed's kind of wasted but that's a really good shield Uh, no, that's not a good helmet. Oh, uh, I would lose the regen with these slippers, but for the most part, it's better. Yeah, I'll wear the slippers. Uh, nope, we're replacing it with these slippers. Ooh. Yes, dude, that is a good rubber ducky. That is an amazing rubber ducky. Hmm. I have 8.4 regen. I cannot die. I am immortal. I am immortal! Bow before me! I need to get rid of wheat and swamp because it's just eating up. I wish I could remove meadow. Like, I really wish I could get rid of meadow. But I'm required to have it in my deck. Meadow gives wood. You know what also gives wood? Groves. I would much rather have more groves.
Uh, I would lose the... No, we don't want that. And we don't want that. Uh, the update is out. The update is out, so I think we go ahead and bank our resources here. Oh, I forgot I have a treasury up in the top here. I won't lie, I kind of forgot about the treasury. I feel like this run could easily kill the final boss. I think we actually go ahead and summon the boss next loop. Yeah, we might as well finish this run. Next loop will finish off the boss. Better regen. Oh no, worse regen, but evasion and magic damage. Level 9 sword? I'll hold on to that. Oh, there's survivalist. There's survivalist. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we're gonna take that. I want more vampirism. <laughs> Did I finish, ever finish up Curse of the Dead Gods? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I beat it, dude. I beat the whole thing. Insane. It's crazy. No idea how I managed to do it. It's, it's crazy, dude. First try as well. Managed to get it on my first attempt. I think we'll just put that on now. I heal for so much. Damn. I have found a what? Six regen? Okay. All right. As you do. As you do. I currently have almost 20 regen. Yeah, I'm not going to have any issues killing the boss. Health is going to go burr. Antique wardrobe, plus five HP every time the hero equips a new item. Oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Now, 
Now, I wonder if that's max HP or I just heal for five. So that's interesting. So yeah, if they're in the adjacent tile, they get to attack for free. Yeah, these fireworms are pretty free. I really like the ruins card. Okay, so here's the deal, okay? I really want to go fight my boss. So I really hope you give me enough cards to summon my boss and stop giving me loot or this is going to get really weird and I'm going to have to run away. Oh no. Well, this is awkward. This is awkward. Yep. Mm-hmm. One more loop? Yeah. The problem is, is that I just put down a whole bunch of swamps. That's the problem. I just put down a lot of swamps. <laughs> so that's gonna degen HP so fucking fast. Come on, give me some more items. Thank you. Alright. Uh-oh. Banger alert. We banging. Filling out the entire map is an achievement? I'm not gonna do that right now. I wonder if all the I wonder if bosses have their own music. That'd be sick. Yeah, I checked the level 10 ring. They literally can't get past my regen. Regen is so busted. <laughs> That's going to change once I enter the swamp. The swamp will definitely get past my regen. <laughs> I really hope it's just vampirism and it's not just regen in general that does it to me. What does the swamp do? It makes all healing lethal. Except for potions. It is, in fact, also regen. Oh, God. Help. Also, Quest Flesh Golem. It's very scary. Because he hits for 128. Ow. Mm -mm 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 
Ooh, treasury. Wait, the goblins become a goblin lookout if you put them next to a swamp. <laughs> Is there any redeeming factor to the swamp? At all, because all it does is kill you. What happens in the swamp? You die faster. Okay, what if you put it next to a goblin? What kind of synergy does that get? They can shoot you. Oh. Okay. makes vampire fights very easy. I'm less worried about the vampires. Nice. More counter. More counter. I think Rubobble is actually in sync with the music. Maybe I should finish off that treasury. Probably a good idea. I'm gonna save this. Yeah, I'm gonna save this. Actually, no, shield master, ten that's actually really good. Man, I can't wait for me to get under 30% HP so that my, my ability can trigger and I die even faster. Oh my god, it actually kills me twice as fast. It actually kills me twice as fast. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're leaving. Goodbye. Oh, but I can't take the antiques. Darn. I like how chat's like, remove the regen. Okay, then how am I going to kill the boss? How am I killing the boss then? Update game. Nice. I hope there's patch notes. Punished for a good build. I had a good build and then I threw it away. As is tradition in this... In this stream. Mud hut. I don't want to build that yet. I want to build other things. Craft a tool. Kitchen knife. 1% HP for every food item placed in your camp. Interesting. 
So, 2% HP. Cool. Alright, let's go on an expedition. Let's actually play as the rogue now. Let's take off this god-awful swamp. Throw our cemetery back on. And let's get it. Now let's do chapter two. I'm feeling courageous. I'm feeling courageous here. Road Lantern? Oh yeah, we wanted Road Lantern. One second. I did want Road Lantern. What am I taking off for Road Lantern though? Wheat fields. Let's do it. So now we should have the the fixed healing. I actually heal for kills now, Pog! It works! Pogu! Ah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, devs. <laughs> Thanks, devs. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, that scared me. But hey, XP is XP. I'll take it. put a village down here. Get another cemetery. Get another meadow. Perfect. What's that sound? Oh, it's this stuff. Uh, throw down a road lantern right here. Seventy-three XP so far. It's not bad. Ow. So yeah, if he gets to attack from up there, we have a problem. All right. Let's see what kind of loot we get here. Definitely take the quarter. Uh, let's take the skimmeter. Magic damage or defense? Probably take the defense here. Y'all are getting absolutely decimated by Nightbot right now. I want y'all to know that. Y'all are getting absolutely decimated by Nightbot, and I giggle. I giggle. I giggle. I would recommend posting less walls. So that you do not get absolutely destroyed by Nightbot. 
Raid them back! Hey, Riku. How was your subathon? Chat. You know how I announced the, uh, the VTube thing? Riku's the artist. Riku is the one bringing it to life. Mama or Papa. Or both. As typically done in the VTube community. <laughs> All right. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Pet the Riku. Very good job, Riku. Very, very, very good job. <laughs> All right, let's get some more of that in there. Spiders are still a question mark for me. I don't know if I, how many spiders I actually want. I don't want this. This needs to go. This needs to go away right now. Ah, it gets me every time. Mm, nowhere else I can put it. Nice, there's our mountain. There's our good old mountain. Okay. No treasuries yet, which kind of sucks. What you got for me? Evasion bonus, crit damage chance, and crit damage. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take it. Was I not going to try and put meadows around the peak? Oh no, I've tried I've tried surrounding the actual peak with meadows before. I haven't tried a single mountain surrounded by meadows yet though. Uh crit damage chance, extra health. Magic damage. Definitely better than the quarter. Uh, counter chance is really, really good. Yeah, we want as much counter chance as I can get here. Tried it in the demo, but it didn't do anything. I don't know how much I want to go with that as far as unlocks, because like, Play, yeah, I don't think you could get bandits in the demo either. Max HP increased for each trophy that you collect. Or when you fight against three or more enemies, you gain an additional trophy. Probably go with old scars first here. That's going to be a lot of max HP. All right, let's put these down. Start our rock collection over here. All right. Ooh, actually, I want that chest piece. What is this? Encouragement. Not finished. May resurrect as a shattered skeleton after being killed. 50% chance. Ah, but that doesn't matter if the vines eat them. Okay, so that's a good synergy. A blood grove is that synergizes very well with the cemetery because they won't uh, resurrect. So you should surround uh, blood groves with cemeteries.
All right. Yeah, they don't res. Seems good, dude. I'll bleed. A little worried about health right now. A little worried about HP. Because I put down even more stuff. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to the end here. Well, that was plus two HP there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make it. We might make it. I'm willing to risk it. I'm willing to risk it for this biscuit. This is a solid biscuit, Jet. That's a very big biscuit. Of course, I could just oblivion it. And then just rebuild it. There we go. Nice and safe. Okay, so let's do that. Get a new mace. Yep. All right, cool. Now the question is, can I do another run? Can I fulfill an extra loop? I don't know if I can, to be honest. Uh, how many villages have I built? Two. So I can build a third village without summoning a bandit camp. So we'll build this here. That'll heal me for 40. It'll also level up the spider to become a quest mob. Thus removing the HP I would have gained. Good. Good. All right. What do we got? Blissful ignorance. Well, time to see if it got fixed. Time to see if it got fixed. Oh, <gasps> it's fixed! Hogu! Good devs. Pet the devs. Pet the devs, chat. Pet the devs. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if I'll be able to fight the boss, but part of me wants to, uh... Oh, that's a lot of resources. Part of me wants to try anyway. Just because it's like... 
I won't know what the boss actually does until I get in there. Alright. These boots any good? Not really. Yeah, no, not really. Are these boots any good? No. Foresight gets the prediction effect every three seconds, which allows it to ignore incoming damage once. Yeah, those snakes are rough, dude. Those snakes are real rough. Uh, better evasion, attack speed, critical damage. Max HP, max HP and attack speed, max HP and attack. Uh, I take this one. If any of them. Yeah, I need the damage up. There we go. It's a lot of HP. Hmm. That's a lot of HP. I may just have to take this, the flat HP here. Yeah. I need just the flat health. Or I'm going to get destroyed. Okay. More villages. More villages. <laughs> nice. Dirk, really good. I just build something and then destroy it for HP. Dude, that's really nice. Ooh, I found ham. Five heals five HP at the start of each day. Eh. Not that good, but I mean it's better than nothing, right? How's that dagger that dropped? Well, considering it's a level below my white, no. Not gonna use it. Impenetrable. Any damage dealt not during the unit's attack phase is decreased by 60%. Wow. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Skinner's Knife. 10% chance to receive one ration after killing a rat wolf. Plus five damage to rat wolves. Okay. Not bad. Kind of like that, actually. Uh, I need to put a village here so that way stuff stops spawning there. Because these fireworms are a joke as long as I don't let them get their their uh, first spot. Okay. Let's see what we got for loot. Evasion encounter. It's pretty good. 
And it's got magic damage on it, which is also pretty spicy. No new weapons. Ouch. No new weapons. Oof. That hurts. Oblivion, the empty treasure? It's actually not a bad idea. It's not like it's doing anything right now. Besides killing me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what happens if I use an oblivion on a mountain? Does it get rid of the entire mountain or just the one tile that made it a mountain? Uh, I don't have the picky perk yet. I really want it though. I didn't actually see what his uh, thing was. Well, I kind of like the max HP, so I don't want to science it right away. But I will science. I will science. down I can pretty safely put a ruin between those two villages that I already have built to oh I might be dead oh, I'm dead I would like to upgrade the herbalist hut, or can I build the, uh... Oh, I can't build it yet. Yeah, let's upgrade the herbalist. There is much more room here now. To express my gratitude, I'll tell you a healing recipe. 15 lemons, 2 spoons of honey, 3 heads of garlic, and 10 ears of wheat. Throw it on a pot of water and let it brew for a bit. Best remedy for sore joints. Thanks. Don't give me that look. You'll be thanking me in 15 years or so. Alright, so that increases the effectiveness. Heals six percent of your max HP. You can take up to five. Two potions. Unlock swamp card. <laughs> and if I upgrade it again, I get better healing, plus one potion, and an extra potion when I walk by. Not bad. Alright, I think we're gonna go do another warrior run. And I don't have anything to. So, ooh, maybe I can craft. Can I craft? I can craft! Jeweler's magnifying glass raises the chance of finding a rare item by 10%. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. Less white, more gamba. More gamba. All right, I'll be right back, chat. I'm enjoying this game. I hope you're enjoying this game as well. It's fun. It's great. I'll be right back.
All right, I am back. Hello. Hello, chat. Big yawn. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> Through the power of massive regen, we're going to beat this boss. Let's go, chat. I have, I have massive amounts of faith. Please don't ever do that again. Sometimes you gotta yawn. Sometimes you gots to yawn, dude. You gots to. Alright. Mm hmm. Early treasury. Which is very nice. What do we got here? Defense. Uh, I think we'll put our. Death Grove right here. Yeah, we'll put our Death Grove right there. No, we'll keep the defense. Never win Burr and Scalp Off. Thanks for sub. Appreciate that. Baru used yawn. Chat fell asleep. Chat, don't fall asleep. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to fall asleep. Okay, worse, worse, regen. Ah. And so begins regen, chat. So begins the power of regen. Okay, let's get our corpses going. Now let's get a night. Let's get a night lamp there so nothing bad happens. want a village? I think we'll put our villages here. Yep. Bum, 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 Rot the wolf. What does the lantern do? Uh, road lantern to make it so that, uh, there's one less enemy. Like, how many can be on a tile? So, four can be on this tile. Oh, the road lantern? It makes it so only three can be on the tile. Basically, I fight less shit all at the same time.
So that's very good for me. Uh, I do want another grove. I put it over here. <laughs> it does stack as well, yeah. So you can have multiple stacks of the stuff. So right now there's three spiders, but uh, if I put a road, two road lanterns there, they would only have two. All right, got an oblivion. We'll hold on to that. Ooh, vampirism regen and max HP. Well, some damage there. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Do I want a third grove? I think we're pretty safe to put a third grove down. Yeah, we're pretty safe to put a third grove down. Don't know if I want to get an, a vampire down, though. Vampires can be kind of scary. Vampires can be mighty scary. Alright, another mountain. We'll put that there. Let's get our second village here. And then we'll oblivion this. Early vampire town. I think we'll just put them right here for now. For now. That way I get some extra XP, but they're not like a huge bad place for me. Double Vampire Town? I'm not strong enough to fight seven ghouls right now. That ain't it, Chief. A little extra damage there. Let's get our blood down. Uh, no, I only have four inventory slots. That's just max HP. Another road lantern. Uh, let's put it over here. Oh, more defense. Nice. Uh, damage to all. It's got no regen on it. I don't want it. Ooh. One less defense, but more regen. Fell out our cemetery there. Oh, dabbed out of the game by accident. Uh, let's put our next one right here. Uh, could I use the road lantern to reduce the amount of ghouls that I get? Yes. Yes, I could. Do I want to do that right now, though? Maybe. That might actually be pretty good strats. Did we fix the game? Yeah, the devs fixed the game. The devs were nice enough to send a personal streamer patch my way. Still a treasury in the top right? I'm aware. Alright. What do we got here? I think we're going to take that blissful ignorance. Now that it's, you know, functioning correctly. It healed? Yeah, it's actually correct now. <laughs> no, you only have these four inventory slots in the L shape right here. You don't get anything else. Get another cemetery down. So cemeteries synergize very well with a blood tree because once you get to the second chapter, Skeletons have the ability to basically second win. But the blood tree removes their ability to do that. Because it insta-kills them like that. Alright, six extra damage. 
We're basically going to just cover the entire blood tree with uh, groves. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do that for a quick heal. There we go. Uh, do I want spiders? Since I have a road lamp, I'm down for it. I do want a second road lamp there, though. There we go. I mean, cemeteries. Yeah, not graveyards, cemeteries. Aren't cemeteries and graveyards the same thing? Cemeteries are just bigger graveyards. Right? Isn't that the definition of them? They're just bigger graveyards? I said groves, not graveyards? Oh. Well, I'm dumb. And it happens from time to time. Right. Not worth it. one one defense is not better than one regen there. Alright, I could leave right now if I wanted to. Uh four extra defense. Extra damage. Counter. Counter is worth it. Yeah. Counter is very strong. Mm-hmm. Did I forget about the treasure again? I didn't forget about it. Three extra defense, but no... Well, actually, no. That's uh, nine extra defense. This is a three plus a six, which gives me nine. Nice. Nine defense worth it though? Over the counter? I think it is. I think nine defense is pretty good. Yeah. Double mountain. Very nice. Start stacking that up. Is defense flat damage reduction? I believe that it is. But I believe enemies also have a damage range. It only sho it shows a flat number, but I'm pretty sure they have a damage range just like I do. But to my knowledge, it, it feels like defense is just flat damage reduction. Which is why that uh, there's a perk that makes it so you take... Um, you take... Or sorry, you gain one armor per loop, which is really good because that's essentially take one less damage from every single attack. That's really good. Finally got a ruins. So we're going to put a ruins there. Uh, we'll get another mountain here. Mountains scale better than surrounding it with rocks. Ideally, I'd like to just not use my rocks. I don't think there's any reason to ever use rocks. Except for, I guess, by my treasuries. Another blood tree. Do I want another blood tree? I think I do. Did I destroy the mountain? I did not. Alright. Alright. I don't like, uh... I'm just going to place this down and destroy it. Because I don't want to lose out on just free healing, essentially. I guess I could also do that for the rocks. We're about to heal up, so not a big deal. Uh, let's get another blood tree right here. And then we'll start surrounding that with cemeteries as well. What does ruins plus village do? Um, nothing specifically, but it does have this nice synergy. Because nothing can spawn on a village tile, naturally, um, it makes it so ruins are pretty safe. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Perfect. Triple Vampire Town. Unless I get some, like, hot damage, I am not making a Triple Vampire Town. I'm really just making... I'm Really, I'm just alternating between villages and ruins. 
because it creates safe pockets for me to place down ruins. Like, I could put this down right here and just completely throw my run, but <gasps> I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I don't know, I actually didn't want to put that there. Or am I? No, I'm not. I'm not going to. Ooh, a little bit of extra damage, more defense. Very nice. If I had a higher counter chance, I would consider it, but I currently don't. Regen, attack speed, extra damage, and vampirism. I'll take all that. I'll take all of that. Vampirism shield with more defense. I'll take that as well. We're now sitting at about 31% vamp, which is really nice. Healing for 11 to 12 an attack. Not bad. Also, this guy's going to beat the shit out of me. So we're definitely going to want to heal after this. 700 HP. Damn. But no. I like my regen too much. What is this ability? Dying Strike. Won't die until it deals its last hit. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is Kamikaze? Monk W. Ooh, now this looks sexy. Plus two defense, 600, counter, and vampirism. That's very good. Now we have a longsword, 4.2 regen and 36 damage. Very nice. Very nice. That is solid. Let's get another treasury on the board. All right. I need to delete this. Flush golems are amazing. They drop really good loot, but they are obviously incredibly deadly. Oh yeah, what's this old frying pan? Additionally heals 15 HP when you pass the campfire tile. Eh, it's not that good. It's not that good. Oh, I messed up. I can't even place what I want down there. Unless. No, I'd have to delete all three of these things. Mm -mm. So when's the triple vampire? Alright, here you go. Here's fucking Vampireville. I hope you're happy. Are you satisfied with Vampireville? Are you satisfied with Vampireville? We've made Castlevania. Oh, level up. Hey, I can now take Buckler! Buckler heals me now! Yay! Yay! It heals me. You passed on skilled armor? Eh, it's fine. It'll come back around. It'll come back around. That's a lot of spiders. It's a whole lot of spiders. Bam. 
Vampire Row in Spooderville. Mm hmm. Counter, slightly less defense though. Yeah, we'll take it. We need counter. We need as much counter as we can get now. I just want a max stack of counter. Yeah, counter's healing me for a lot. Oh my god, the skill is so good when it actually works. Oh, always be countering. Dude, so I'm getting healed for 18 every single time I counter right now. What's this? 1.8 regen. Yeah, I think counter's better regen for me now. Actually, it is. It is, in fact, a better regen for me to counter every single time. So I actually want a white ring with counter on it. Yeah, there you go. 22% counter. Perfect. Because white rings have the have the best scaling for a single stat. So now they can't hurt me. I'm a god. I may have already broken the game. So I, you know how I got a specialized patch to fix uh, to fix the skill so it wasn't broken? I think I'm gonna get a specialized patch to re-break the skill so that it does not work anymore. <laughs> Dear devs, this skill doesn't work. Could you please fix it? Please? Please, devs? And then they fix it. Thank you. I'm going to go destroy your game now. I have 53% counter. I actually want to get rid of the road, uh, the road lamps now. Yeah, I actually want to get rid of the road lamps. I want more enemies now. I'm taking off my protection. I've released myself from my bonds. I'm taking off. I'm like. I have become Goku. I'm taking off my training weights. Two old frying pans. Nice. What is that? Counter vampirism. I think actually counter vampirism would be better than just raw counter. So that way I also heal on the attack as well. Yeah. Yeah, counter, counter, and vamp. So that way I'm double dipping. Which means that I think... I think blue rings. Are, I need a blue ring with counter vampirism.
That's what we're looking for now. Okay, I have put enough things down. I would like to put down a blood tree. Yeah, I think yellow gear would actually be better. For armor, yellow gear is better. it tends to have higher stats than uh, orange. That's <laughs> vampirism. was that sound? Alright. Let's see if we survive Death Alley. percent counter. Okay. <laughs> so much countering. It's a lot of defense, but no, it's not what I'm looking for. Finish off our mountain. Get our last cemetery down. I guess we just start a rock collection over here. Yeah. Oblivion that for some max HP. I could put a vampire thing down here. Alright, let's see how... I'm starting this fight with about 350 HP. Or 750 HP. Let's see what I end at. I know I'm going to go down. That's not bad. That real like, only losing 200 HP for how much damage I took there is not bad. I did use the potion though. Ooh, that's got higher counter and defense and damage to all, but I lose the vamp. Nah, I need the vampirism. Vampirism's just keeping me alive right now. Level up. 35% chance to perform a counterattack during an evasion. Would be cool if I had any evasion. But Article of Protection looks real sexy. Yeah.
That might keep me alive through uh, Death Valley here. Encounter, no. All right, I gotta decide. Do I retreat? Do I retreat? I can do it, dude. I think I can do it. That's also a lot of things. That's a lot of things, dude. that last bit, sadly. <sighs> nah, now we'll play it safe. I'm retreating. I'm going to play it smart. Now I've unlocked the crypt. Oh, you're interested too, eh? Not everyone appreciates it. Not everyone understands. People can serve you not only with their voices, but with bones, swords, bows. And they are not evil if you don't fear them. You're right. I only need to raise a hand and wait. I've never done anything like this before. If I remember correctly. The craft teaches itself. Often through books or words or walls and stone. It is an unusual way. I think I'm also going to buff this. Maybe. Supply. Garlic. Frying pan and another fr oh I can only have so many. Okay, the frying pan's kinda meh anyway. I don't wanna waste that right now. I wanna build this Intel Center. Unlocks the encyclopedia, unlocks the desert and sand dune cards, unlocks the ability to add gold cards to the deck. I want this next. This sounds really nice. I'm not going to use two frying pans, so I'll dismantle that. Alright. Expedition. Ooh. Necromancer. Summon skeletons that fight instead of, uh, instead of their master. Number and powerful... Uh, number and power of skeletons depend on necromancer's equipment and skills. Has attack speed, evade, summon quality... Regeneration, defense, and skeletons' powers. Interesting. Well, I can probably put on Battlefield. Turn off Vampires for now. Also, this character doesn't seem to have any armor. I'm going to throw on Attack Speed. Ha! <laughs> 
I can't use any of the starter gear. Oh, shit. Friendly skeleton. Ooh. Plus summon quality. All right. We're on our way. Skeleton bro. He's only got 260 HP. He is a little babby. He is but a little babby, chat. But it's okay. He's got bony weather to keep him dry. Blood Grove? I can only place... Oh, wait. I guess I can place the hood down now, actually. Here. That'll give me some form of regen here. Ow. Ow. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Evasion, summon quality, skeleton level. Okay. Magic HP, defense, and evasion. Cool. Oh, so I've got a little, like, magic health bar now. Ooh, skeleton warrior. Neat. Grimoire. Plus one skeleton level. Oh, nice. Now he's a little bit stronger. He's a lot stronger. Damn. Battlefield. All right. Get out of here. Summoner's pretty strong. Like, I really don't need to hold back at the summoner. Plus defense, evasion, and summon quality. All right, let's equip that over that ring. I don't even want to put down the road beacon right now. Like, I'll just hold on to it in case I need it. Go get him. Go get him. There we go. Mm -hmm. Extra magic HP, better attack speed, better skeleton level. I think getting as much attack speed as possible is the most important stat for the Necromancer. Just because that means you can summon your skeletons faster and get them out on the field. Ooh, skeleton guard. First target. I can summon a tank. there a level three book there is a level three book Ooh, that's gonna be a so this guy 
Wow, look at the difference. This is what one level of difference does. Damn. Nearly double the damage. Okay, we're gonna put road lanterns there since I don't have an oblivion. You can't hurt me! Antique shelf. Plus one max HP for every resource gained during this expedition. That's a really good item. Ooh, hold on. Legendary Grimoire. Better attack. Summon quality. Maximum skeletons plus one. 65 magic XP. Ooh. I'm curious what the difference between summon quality... I guess summon quality is like how high level the skeletons are. And then the actual level will be their damage and health stats. Yeah, I think the quality means the type of skeleton that I get out of this. So I need a nice balance between quality and level. You can't just... Because see, for the warrior, it feels like you can just dump into one stat and go, yep, I win. Whereas this guy needs a really good balance between the two. You can't just all into one side. If you got high quality skeletons, but they have no level, then they just die instantly. Well, guess we're going to create a rock garden over here. Don't mind me. Yeah, Skeleton Guard's pretty good. I would definitely be more aggressive. Like, I know I got I got rid of the uh, vampires, but I kind of wish I had kept them. I didn't realize that the Necromancer was going to be this powerful. Uh, yeah. Let's take that. I think skeleton level is probably more important than quality, though. Any direct damage to the hero will be evenly split between him and his skeletons. There's a 20% chance to exceed the number of skeletons and summon two of them during the last summon. Laying down one's life seems the like the take there. Definitely take the split damage. pretty spicy yeah that's like everything I want now we can make level 3 skeletons who do 21 damage yeah so they do have a damage range I wish it would show the, their damage range uh, I'll take that over just the raw attack speed dude the evenly split damage is hilarious. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's even better. Wait, is that regen? That's regen too. Thank MVP, dude. So regen max skeletons and skeleton levels, what we're looking for on that. 
That's like a per I think that's like a perfect roll for me. Maybe evasion. Maybe evasion. There we go. Rings need to be higher quality. Yeah. We need some better quality rings. Our rings suck ass. Fast attacking enemies seem to be scary for the Necro. Kind of, especially early on. The problem is, is that he needs to summon, but like once he gets rolling, he's unstoppable. So it's it's kind of weird. He's definitely he's like a snowball kind of character. Once he starts building up momentum, it's really hard for him to die. But if they stop him from getting to that momentum, then he's basically fucked. I don't think I would do vampire villages against this guy. Because imagine an entire army of ghouls. I summon a skeleton and then it just instantly dies before it can even swing. That just sounds like a bad time. That just sounds like a real bad time. Yeah, you can infinitely resummon. But you're on a you're on a cooldown. I like how you smack him with the book when you're done summoning. Mm. All right. Do do do. Ooh, what's this one? Nah, I want to keep that plus one max skeletons. I don't like having only two skeletons. Eh, I mean, there's a ring that could let me technically have four. But is that better than summon quality evasion and two defense? I think it might be, honestly. Plus one skeletons, really nice. Yeah, my quality is pretty garbage. In fact, it's non-existent. Yeah, and you see this right here? This is what I was talking about. They have trouble. Like, if I, if I end up having trouble getting the skeletons up, then it can I could actually just straight up lose the fight. That's the scary part. So yeah, we need to get some quality up there. I can't retreat from these fights. Goblins are very scary. I think we delete the goblin village. Yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> fuck the goblin village. Bom, 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 bom. I'm actually gonna put the regen ring on. I need some kind of. I need better regen right now. I have no form of actual healing. If I can, if I, I don't really care about getting four skeletons because if I already have three, then we're fine. Rock garden. Haha. -ha. Also, doesn't look like these guys get benefits from my rocks. Only I get that benefit. 
which makes mountains kind of useless with this character. Actually, meadows and meadows and mountains are basically useless on this guy. Max HP just doesn't have that high of a value because it's very much a, I either win the fight or I'm dead. There is no in between. I either win the fight or I'm dead. Maybe desert will be his thing. True. Desert might be his like spammed economy tile or whatever. Okay, let's put another treasure down. Continue our mountain. Alright. Let's get another grove. Get a blood tree. Continue our rock garden. Oblivion the goblin army. Level six ring. It's just evasion. Which actually, I think they get my evasion. They may not get my other stats, but I think they get my evasion. This might be painful. I think I'm dead. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, worms in the archer slot. So here's how here's how these worms work. If they're if they're adjacent to the tile, they go in this like extra row essentially, and they get to just freely attack you, and you can't damage them. But if they're up close, they reduce their damage by up to sixty percent. So as long as you force them to stay adjacent then you don't really have much to worry about. I'm going to take supplies so that I can be insanely greedy and just go to death. Oh, new book. Plus skeleton level, regen, and evasion. No. But what is death to a necromancer chat? Nothing! Uh, yeah. Pretty good. Straight up upgrade. In demo, supplies is 50%. <laughs> That's just a mild nerf. That's just a mild nerf. Oh yeah, let's take a look at this ring. Uh, skeleton level and attack speed. Yeah, it's better than that one. That's not better. Now, because I got to keep up my skeleton quality. Yeah, I got to keep my quality. I really need to just get more quality in general. <laughs> Thanks. Well, actually, that has everything I want. The only downside is I don't have plus one skeleton anymore. That is pretty good. This is a problem. This is a problem. Oh, 
Like I said, I either win or I die. There's no in between here. There we go, a tank. That level up shared damage is really hurting you? Bro, I'd be dead if I didn't have it right now. <laughs> what do you mean it's hurting me? It's the only thing keeping me alive. Killing my skeletons super fast. All right, take the split damage here for just a second. Notice how I'm below half HP and half HP is gone to my skeletons. Where do you think my health bar would be if they've been attacking me directly this entire time? <laughs> I split the damage to the skeletons. The skeletons don't split damage to me. Defense attack speed skeleton level defense summon quality Need some I need summon quality badly Silver pendant Minus four damage from all vampires. Ooh. That's pretty good. If you want to go like a... If you want to go like a uh, vampire build, like all vampires all the time. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, no. So, so these right here aren't like buffs I'm currently getting. These are relics that I get to carry into the next run. If I bring it home. If I bring it home. They don't they're not effective right now. I am essentially holding on to them. Honestly, I think I might just return back to camp just so I don't lose that item. In fact, I'm going to. So let's finish off our treasuries. I also didn't notice that the beacon attack speed actually doing all that much. Double s level eight book. Damn, those are some tanky skeletons. I gotta do it. I gotta see what a level six skeleton looks like. Or yeah, level eight. Look at the difference in health. This is a lower level, like lower quality, and he's like almost the same stat with double the HP. Uh huh. Do I greed? I don't know. So what's he get? Oh wow, he has 63 damage. Take a look at these rings. Bad, bad, bad. 
definitely has a lot more stats that he has to, like, sift through. Hmm. Max skeleton count, huh? I really don't want to sacrifice the quality, so I think I'll just take it over this. I go down to level 7, but I think it's worth it. Three skeletons is just huge. <laughs> oh, level eight book. one skeleton. I can have five skeletons? Or no, four skeletons now. Not today. Nope. You're not beating me now. I'm a god. Stay down. Stay down. Uh, let's see what kind of rings we got here. Level, quality, attack, speed, and defense. That's better than my right ring. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, max skeletons. Can I... How many skeletons can I have? Can I have more than five? Can I have six skeletons? I don't know. But I want to try. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit! I get mages? Damn! Holy shit, dude. <laughs> okay. More skeletons. Blacksmith's hammer plus one armor. Wow, that's really bad. <laughs> Just one armor. Wow, what a what a good item. Bony weather. skeletons I'm making them faster than you can kill them but only barely only barely now 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 quality is tanking a bit right now Or no, it's my level that's... No, it's my level that's getting fucked right now. 
Yes, tank. Yeah, I need to find a better book. Honestly, I should just take a I should just take a leveled up book. Otherwise, I'm going to die. As much as I love the hilariousness, I need level 7 skeletons. Yeah, go get him, tank. Level 7 skeletons make a huge difference. Oop. Oh, what's that? Uh... Nah. Old frying pan. Another frying pan! Stop giving me frying pans! Stop it! When I summon the tank, oh my god. Okay, this is bad. Tank, save me! Tank, save me! Ow. Level 9 book, 10 defense, max skeletons plus 1, and skeleton level. Alright. Worth. I need the regen and defense. I need regen badly. That was incredibly painful. No need to flee. You can't run from fights. This is like a small heads up. You can't run from fights. Oh, I have a level up. The first two skeletons summoned in a day will be strengthened, or plus one skeletons. I mean, I can count all zero times I've summoned eight skeletons. No. <laughs> We're gonna take preparation for a ceremony. gonna be fucking painful. Uh, attack speed, regen, evasion, and summon quality. Attack speed, evasion, max skeletons, evasion, max skeletons, summon quality. I think I replaced my right ring. Get the tank. Yeah. 17% evasion? Yeah, we're taking that. 
We need our we need our skeletons to live longer. And evading is how we do it. Oh, delicious health. I appreciate you. Walmart skeletons. Dude, that's a 21% evasion right there. That could be very sexy. I think getting 50% evasion would actually be nice. The summon quality gets tanked quite a bit. But I think it'll be worth it when they don't get hit. Yo, nice evasion, dude. Nice evasion. Dude, this is this is kicking ass. Okay, so we're going back to getting some uh, quality. Attack speed, evasion, and skeleton level. Attack speed, regen, and evasion. Yeah, we'll take that over that. I love the quality of my skeletons right now. I love this evasion that I totally have right now. It's very nice. At least preparation for a serum. Oh my god, he crit him. That crit could have been on my face. Plus one max skeletons. <laughs> the boss approaches. One more boss summon and we... Or one more item placed down and we summon the boss. I'm ready. Your quality sucks. Yep, my quality is dog shit right now. Radiates with powerful energy that devours space and time itself. It is time to face the destiny of this world. Won't lie, that just gave me goosebumps. Violet approaches. Hmm. Are, the, are the worms in the next tile going to be a problem for the boss? That's a problem for future Baru. That's a problem for future Baru. Level 9 skeletons. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna put some lamps around here. I like how that's retroactive, too. There. No longer a problem. Get him. Oblivion the boss? Somehow, I don't think I can Oblivion the boss. I just have to point out something that happened. I looked over my chat and I saw somebody, like, say this game is 13 bucks and then my mind read that as this game sucks <laughs> when really they were just saying it's 13 not 20 and i almost yelled at this random viewer who literally did nothing wrong and then my brain took a second it was like yo wait hold up baru you're not you when you haven't had your coffee and then i had and then i took a drink of coffee and I realized that one guy in chat, he's just doing his own thing. He's just minding his own business. He almost got yelled at for no reason. <laughs> Ban him anyway. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? You should know what you did wrong. Existing. All right, time for a big skeleton. Go, tank. Yeah, the level nine skeletons are huge. Ooh, I could make it even higher level. I could make level 10 skeletons, but then I would lose my max skeletons, and I really don't want to do that. I'm already at a plus three. I'm not, I don't want to lose any more than I already have. Do, do. Blue book? Nah, it's not as good. It's not even as good. 32 attack speed, though. Oh my god, 32% attack speed would have me shitting out skeletons left and right. Holy shit. Oh, but that means I can only have two skeletons. Oh, fuck. We have a problem. We have a problem. Boy, I hope I find some new gear soon. I may have to now take this. Fuck it. Level 10 skeletons. The throws? 
Nah, level 10 skeletons, bro. Level 10 skeletons, bro! have max skeletons on it. It didn't. Now a quest reward would be dope right about now. Maybe one that gives me plus one skeleton. No? Okay. A level 10 orange book isn't even that good. Well, it gives me summon quality. So maybe I'll get a tank. Max skeletons plus one. Yes. Yes. Never punished. Oh. Cool, you're just gonna be there the whole fight. Nice. Oh shit. She cute. Could you please stop? So it's you who's responsible for all this mess. Stop doing what? Stop doing all this. Resisting. Fighting. For the old world. You will erase everything anyway. I'm sorry, but that's how it must go. So a mysterious him Again. I expect that you're not going to explain who you're talking about. Why wouldn't I? I'm talking about God. He created myriads of stars, galaxies. Oh, and oh, what am I saying? He created everything. And now he's destroying his creation. That's the most nonsense I've heard. And trust me, I've heard a lot of nonsense. Why would God want to destroy the world? That's what we, that's what you would call a silly question. Do you think we have a right to discuss God's motives? He's God, for God's sake. If he decided it, then it has to be done. That means that there is a cause and meaning to it. Instead of showing him your rage and anger, you should thank him for the life you've had and spend that time that's left saying goodbye to the universe. Wait, that's not right. If all that's true, then why am I still able to resist? Why am I able to, why am I able to restore this world piece by piece? It's very slow, but I'm able to do it. Does this mean that your god is having second thoughts? Or is he a god at all? If I can go against his will, I stab God. These are just empty words. You're simply trying to find reason to your unimportant no. I feel sorry for you in this world, but your efforts are worthless. You can't stop God's harvesting sight with a single blade of grass. I shall end you personally, by word or by force if needed. Maybe a blade of grass won't stop a scythe, but it can get into your shoe and hurt. Excuse me? No. You know, metaphors are not really my thing. <laughs> Let's see if your god is truly protecting you. Priestess. Living has a soul, will of the heavens, summons an angel instead of an attack that disappears after dealing two attacks. It's a summoner battle! It's a summon off! Iconostasis creates five stained glass windows instead of every second uh, instead of every second attack has a 20% chance to be protected by one of the windows. <laughs> 
500 HP angels. Damn. How the fuck does the warrior do this fight? What? Like, seriously, how in the hell does the... How does anybody but the Necromancer do it? Oh, wait, he has damage to all. Never mind. I forgot. He's got damage to all as an ability. So he literally needs to have damage to all or he can't hurt the boss. <laughs> First try. Easy boss. Easy boss because I picked the right class. Defeated. It's, it's so painful. Every time, like the first time, I still can't get used to it. Yes, dying is not very nice and that's how the whole world feels right now. Not a great feeling, as you've noticed. And now, wait, what do you mean by every time? Oh, it's not the first time. My faith in the Almighty brings me back to life again and again for the sake of my great mission. To spread his word, to preach humility, obedience, and acceptance of the salvation he offers. And every time I fail, and there are only the dead bodies of heretics instead of conversations, and my lifeless body... And why can't you understand that the wish to survive is an essential part of the world? I don't know how it happened, but you've made a mistake interpreting the motives of the Almighty. Made a mistake? Me? Impossible. I believe in it. I am the faith itself. I don't need to know or check anything. And you? What are you even trying to achieve? Nothing will ever be like it was anymore. Not even close. I don't know. Maybe it will. I can still try. You're a fool, that's what you are. We'll meet again. Just let me rest a while. Looks like she's gone. I can hardly believe her corpse will ever come back to life, but if it will, I should give it a proper burial. Nah, fuck her. Choose one reward. Post-mortem toll. 30% chance to get a random basic resource chunk upon killing an enemy. Skilled Architect. Upon each building, hero gets eight times loop experience. Ooh. Eye of God. 50% uh, chance that the enemies will have one less ability. Doesn't affect bosses. Skilled Architect, definitely. Alright, let's retreat with our resources. Welcome back. Is that a piece of glass sticking out of your shoulder? What? Oh, I didn't even notice it. And it's not because of a high pain tolerance. I'm a bit shocked, to tell the truth. I met a crazy preacher. Stained glass windows, halos, angel silhouettes all around. The whole jamboree, you could say. Let me guess. We've all sinned, and now we're doomed to face the holy wrath and apocalypse. And only in death shall we find salvation. Not exactly. It's more like God has decided to erase his creation. It has to be done. Show some patience. Please hold. <laughs> well, that makes some sense if you give a little thought. Who else would have the power to do such a thing? I don't know much about Godhood, but I wouldn't think he'd be able to do all this instantly, putting it simply. Or no, but I would think he'd be able to do it all this instantly, putting it simply, we'd all be dead already. We wouldn't even exist now. Even if the priestess is right, it's not a reason to give up. A howl from outer space. What was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, and it felt horrible. Like someone's coming to get me. Space dog. Chapter 3. I wonder how many expeditions there are. I hope there's not only like three or four. I really hope there's more. Also, that looks like a huntsman.
<laughs> Enemies grow in strength 4% per loop. They start off with base 5%. They have 2 to 3 abilities. Let's see what we can build. Intel Center. Okay, here's what we've managed to learn. The world consists of darkness and fragments of your memory for quite a short period of time. Nothing is stable. But this is not completely true. There are some key memories that drastically change everything by keeping a log of your expeditions or adding pieces of the picture together. It would be much easier if everything wasn't so shapeless. Remember any knowledge is uh, remember any knowledge is priceless, so don't forget to share it. We'll decide how to use it together. Encyclopedia. Huh. Village. Ransacked village. Wheat fields. Hmm. Mountain peak. Blooming meadow. Meadow. Forest, empty treasure, treasure, lich's palace, golden. Swarm of beasts. slime. Ambush. The creature's first attack is always a crit. Ouch. Oh, there's six bosses. Okay. Spoilers! An old chat. There's six bosses. Buff up the, uh, buff that up. What else can I build? Build the library? Allows you to unlock additional pages in the encyclopedia in exchange for secret knowledge resources. Oh, maybe, okay. <sighs> okay. There might be more than that. A river. A forest. This is the Lumberjack's domain. Unlocks the forest and thicket. Watchtower. One crossbowman will help you from each tower in battle on tiles adjacent to the campfire. Only applies to battles with normal enemies. You'll have to deal with bosses yourself. You can build up to four towers. Hmm. Thicket. Build the library. <laughs> yeah. This pleasant smell of cellular sheets and dried ink. The smell of books, to put it simply. Look at us. Me, a scientist. Knowledge is my weapon. And you, a wanderer. Your weapons are... Weapons. And still, in spite of all the difference, at the end, we pursue the same goal. To know and save this world. Theory, knowledge, learning. We shall discover this world anew, my friend. Cool. Oh. Oh, it gives me more. It gives me lore on things I've already done. It's just lore. It's just lore.
sick lore, dude. Man, they spent a lot of time on this lore. I don't care about lore, though. I just added a whole bunch of cards. Bookery. Replace your cards with random ones when you pass by. Collapses after 20 exchanges. <laughs> <laughs> what could it be? Who knows? Wait, is it just this expedition that has 15? Oh no, I can just have 15 in general now. Desert. Lowers creatures HP by 1%. Desert heat burns everything in its path, not only you. And then there's also sand. It says every creature. That means me as well. Let's try it. Plus three HP for every enemy with a soul killed. Remove HP bonus. Uh, removes HP bonus from armor. Grants you one resurrection after a hero's death. Ooh. Nice. Uh. Maze of Memories does nothing. It takes up a lot of space. The intricate structure of the walls forces you to use your brain and remember a big part of this world. Well, chat, you know I'm going to do the does nothing. Definitely got to have some kind of hidden mechanic, or maybe it's just there to advance boss. <laughs> Alright, well, let's try this third act. Oh, wait, I have trinket things. You're right. Fly. Plus one max HP for every resource gained. Yes. Minus four damage from all vampires. Plus one armor. Okay. Expedition. Let's do it. Oh, I can put it anywhere. Okay. Plus three HP for every enemy with a soul killed. I wonder if it gets a bonus being adjacent to anything. I wonder. Until then, I'm going to put it like right here. None of these things do anything. Thick slime. Which reduces damage. Ouch. So what's desert? Lowers every creature's HP by 1%. Skeletons, magic HP. We've got a mountain over here. Try a 3x3 three three desert? Yeah, that's what we're going to try. Uh, let's get some ruins going. Note to self, delete the ruins before I summon the boss so that way I don't you know have worms attacking me in the boss fight lower all creatures HP by two I bet it works the same way but I bet it's like a three by three desert all 
right, let's get a treasury going. Uh, let's get some spooters. Let's get some spooters in there. All right. Desert uh, seems like a rogue thing. Rogue with massive attack speed could probably be very good. Like you lower everything's health and quickly kill it before it can attack. And then you just get face rolled by something that ends up, you know, outspeeding you and you just go, oh, well, I guess I'm dead. Spider web. Bloodthirst. 20% of the vampire's damage is dealt to all creatures that have the living attribute. Oh. Good. 5% uh, weaver. Adds spiderweb effect to the location. All units except the spider receive the spiderweb effect. That lowers their attack speed by 20% until the end of battle. Nice. I like how I just sit there, webbed, never removing it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Skeleton level. Yeah, I'll take that of a regen. Do, 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 do. Alright, what's that? Summon quality and regen. Nah. Not really worried about quality right now. I, I want to try and get a plus one or er, plus two level. Slightly better. Mm -hmm. Also, I got a Skinner's Knife. Let's try and actually keep it this time. Mm -hmm. 7% reduced HP on everything. A plus 3 HP every single time I kill something with a living attribute. So I'm still scaling. I'm scaling really fast. Well, oh, garlic. All right. Mm -hmm. Just make the whole map into a desert. I have to wonder if I can die from this. I'm very curious if this can kill me. Ugh. <laughs> So spiders seem even less valuable now. Like their value has been slowly going down, but now they're even worse. What do we got here? Evasion, summon quality. Now I want the plus one max skeletons. Although spiders do give me HP, they have a soul. And that soul is very important. I don't want to put the vampire there yet, but I probably will later. I wonder if there's a big desert. That's what I'm looking for right now. Yeah, their HP is going down, but mine is just going up. We're at 10% right now. 
dun 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 Yeah, their HP is pretty low. Does it affect the magic shield? Doesn't seem to. Actually, no. It. No, no, it, it doesn't seem to, because that was half my HP and he hit me for 15, so it doesn't look like it does. Maybe it'll form an oasis? <laughs> there we go. More magic HP. Now I'm even tankier. Let's just start replacing random ass cards. <laughs> nice. Uh, better attack speed. Uh, ooh, that's a huge level up. Yeah, we're taking that. And I can safely get rid of that now. Nope. Didn't do anything. It's just a fucking desert. But that won't stop me from putting down even more desert. Let's make it four by four. I'm gonna laugh if it needs to be four by four. And it just becomes this massive, overwhelming structure. Plus 0.25% to a skeleton's level for a loop. Starting from the loop, this trait was received. Ooh. Ambitions of the dead. After killing an enemy, skeleton fully heals itself. Its damage and HP are increased by 10% until the end of battle. I feel like this is much better, though, for longer runs. The scaling is way better, especially this early. The bottom one seems crap. Meh. Imagine if you had infinite scaling skeletons and level up. You know, get both. Uh, yeah, let's take it over the attack speed. Skeleton quality now. Pretty badly. I might actually ditch that just for the. Yeah, I'm gonna ditch that just for the quality. Because I want to start summoning the good skeletons. Mm, let's put a blood tree down. Put a desert down. More deserts. More. Ooh, 
Ooh, level five book. Take a small hit to my skeletal level. But I gain attack speed, regen, and quality. Yes. I'll take that. More. I really want this to just turn into one giant ass desert. I really hope it just turns into a giant desert. Mm, yeah, we'll take that. Take that. Okay. Ow. Goblin camp suck. Ow, pain. Take 70% less damage from archers. Bold of you to assume I have archers. That's a lot of level. Yeah, that puts me to the next level up. I'm going to take that. Summon quality. There we go. Let's put that there. Put this here. Put another treasury down. Vampire mansion. Nah, I don't want any of this. All right. Turn into a big desert. Do it. It'll be funny. Do it. It'll be funny. Aww. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just surround these things with them then. Five by five, the dream. I don't know if it wants me to build a five by five chat. I don't think it does. All creatures HP reduced by 27%. Is that gonna stop me from building stuff? No. Ah, oh, it should though. Ow, pain, hurt. Plus one max skeletons. Three strengthened skeletons will be joining the hero on every loop to help the battle. Hell yeah. Yeah, I can throw I can try a three by three of just desert and a three by three of just dunes. Missed the plus one trait? That wasn't a plus one, it just re-rolls all your traits. Or it just re-rolls your current options. Okay. 
Okay. No, I don't want any of those. All right. All right. Heal me up. That's a spicy goblin camp. I'm a little scared of it. I'm mildly terrified. That, which I no, 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 I want this one. Wow, this this ability sucks, Balru. It sure is bad. Spawning, starting the fight with three skeletons, and because their HP is so low, I get to just insta kill them. This ability sure is bad. Yep. Sure is horrible. Also, it looks like uh, cemeteries now get the effect of the archer, which kind of sucks. Minus 34% HP. Oh, we're going all the way. Silverware. Plus two damage to all undead. That's a pretty good, uh... That's a pretty good perk. <laughs> Another bookery. More rocks. Good. Nice. Alright, keep going. Uh, are any of these any good? Max skeletons plus one. Yes. Actually, that one's just better because that brings me to level five. That necklace better? Not really, no. Eh, but I'll take it. Mostly because I want to increase my magic shield by as much as possible. All right, well, let's do it. Mm -mm. Forty percent reduced max HP. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about the reduce. 
to reduce max HP. Everything is dying. Nope, 3x3 three three desert doesn't do anything. But what if we tried a 5x5 five five desert? Oh my god, it could be anything! What about 3x3 three three dunes? We can try that as well. We'll try a variety of combinations. Oh yeah, what about a 3x3 three three with a river in the middle? And ma maybe I can make an oasis. That would actually make a lot of sense. That would actually make a lot of sense. See, y'all are smart, chat. Me? I'm big dumb. Very big dumb. Upon each building gets eight times loop XP. Yes. Yes. With how many deserts I'm spamming? Yes. Oh my god, that's so much. Mm -hmm. Uh, is this book any better? actually straight up upgrade what about this one yes I need better rings my rings suck all right well hey look a better ring They just murder everything before it gets a chance to do something. Which is hilarious. Plus one max skeletons? Yes. Max level, max level evasion? Yes. Quality, regen, attack, speed, and defense. No. Well, 5x5 five five desert doesn't do anything. Sad. Sad. What about six by six? Bro, I can't even fit six by six. Stop it. Get some help. What do you get? Hardening gets plus one armor for three seconds after being hit. This effect can stack. Oh, cool. Well, I'm sure that plus one armor definitely helped you. Another treasury. I've actually got the ideal treasury set up now.
at this point just cover the map? Not yet. Ow, I got hit in my face. And it fucking hurt. Okay. Wait, what? Last time the books were standing on their shelves. What's happening now? The books are alive, help! That doesn't look even remotely like writing. Do you have any texts in human or proto-vampiric languages at least? I get it, I get it. Let's forget about this mistake and start on a new page. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Chaotic. Units damage varies between 0 and 200%. It's actually a d20 for damage. <sighs> well, hopefully he doesn't fucking nat 20 my face. Gives 30 magic armor to all allies at the start of battle. It looks like now I have to be constantly ready for a trick. Who knows, next time I could have attacked uh, by my own sword. Abandoned library. Adds tomes to adjacent tiles. Oh. Okay. So, that's cool. Neat. Good. Good. Plus one maximum skeletons, or 20% chance to exceed the number of skeletons. I'm going to take the guaranteed plus one max. Treasury. How much can I lower? How much can I lower my HP by? Tis the question. Just how stupid can we get? we get rid of the plus one ring and instead get something a little bit better. Yeah. Take that one. Perfect. Okay. I'm feeling good about this. Just gonna keep lowering the max HP of everything. How many stacks I have of increased maximum HP? I'm killing so many living beings. Probably a lot. Sixty percent less health. what I want to even destroy, if anything. Mm. 
Probably the goblins. Yeah. The goblins are assholes. Goblins are dicks. Hmm. Defense attack, evasion, skeletal. Defense attack, evasion, skeletal. Pretty much worse in every way on that one. Attack, evasion, quality. Has no quality. I don't want to get rid of it. Okay, where's the goblin village? Yeah, let's get rid of this goblin village. Just start, and then we'll get rid of even more. Alright, let's go. More desert sand. Sand box. <laughs> sand box. Need to remember to remove the worms, though. Yeah, we should remove the worms around our... Uh... Yeah, I think it's time we remove the worms around our thing. Level up. Gain a permanent 0.5 bonus to energy armor for every summoned skeleton. After the hero receives direct damage, all skeletons have a 15% chance to perform an immediate counterattack. Fuck. Those are both really fucking good. I'm going to take Unseen Care. <laughs> Dude. They just get fucking decimated. Look at that. They just die before they get to do anything. Just keep lowering their max HP. And my shield doesn't get diminished. Uh, I'm trying to... This is slightly better. I think. Yeah, because it has better quality. Alright, let's go. They don't even get to attack. <laughs> they don't even get to attack! Because I outspeed them and their health is being reduced by 68%. Well, let's just keep building more deserts. 69%. Honestly, I'm probably just going to leave them with 1% HP. I'm just going to leave them with 1% health. This desert is OP as fuck. Seriously, this desert is broken as hell. <laughs> Hold on. How much HP does this dog have? This dog has 34 HP. I hit for 39 with my basic skeleton. <laughs> 
so dry. <laughs> it's so dry. Remove worms before I forget. Remove worms before I forget. Remove worms before I forget. Skeleton level and evasion and defense and regen. Yeah. I'm going to wait till I get past the. I'm going to wait till I get the uh, thing. Campfire. Quality, though? Who cares about quality? I literally don't need quality. I need to hit them one time. The books are a bit of an asshole, though. The books gotta, gotta go. Yeah, the books gotta go. We have to delete the book. Mm -mm. All right. Let's delete the... We're going to delete the bookeries, the abandoned bookeries first, because those are more likely to kill us than the worms. I don't know what sound that was, but that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. The sand, my lord. No, oh, level nine ring. Yeah, so I only want level evasion and attack speed at this point. Level evasion and attack speed are my main stats. And, you know, max skeleton. Max skeletons, defense, level, kind of nice. Uh, quality, level goes down, no. Evasion, max skeleton, summon quality, no. Yeah, my mana shield is honestly almost stronger than my health pool at this point. Uh, level 10 ring. Level defense and attack speed. That's what we want. What am I replacing? Probably the right ring. Right ring. That has no attack speed on it. I want as much attack speed as I can get. Okay, where's the other broken bookery? Right here. Those have to go. I mean, something to remember is that I infinitely scale. 
my skeleton level goes up and I constantly get extra mana shield the longer this goes on. So technically, I can go forever. Legit, I can just go forever, dude. Because it doesn't matter when they only have one HP. <laughs> Level 10 book. Uh, better level. Got attack speed and skeleton level. Perfect. Attack speed, skeleton level. Uh, worse than both. Okay. Oh god, don't attack me like that. That's scary. Don't hurt me like that. That's scary. Almost dead? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright. Now we get to go face roll more of the game. Skeleton level and regen. Build for XP. Our boss bar is almost summoned, and that's why I'm not building right now. I need to get rid of the worms first. Plus magic XP, plus skeletons, plus attack speed. Perfect. Level 11 ring? No, it's shit. Alchemist shelf? What's this? Plus one to max number of potions. Ooh. Summon quality is irrelevant. We don't want summon quality. Just because it's level 11 doesn't mean anything. We need specific stats. Let's take another plus one. Nah. These books are assholes. Resurrect! I'm not dead yet! Yeah, the books are assholes because they're giving mana shields to everything, which is preventing me from killing all the stuff. So, I think I just take out the booker. Like, this build works just fine. You just gotta make sure you deal with the bookery. You know what would solve that? More sand? You want me to just all in? Hmm? Is that what you want, chat? You want me to just all in? And summon the boss? I'm not even mad. That was hilarious. Wouldn't have even mattered. I didn't make it.
thank you for throwing. It literally would not have mattered. Let's build a watchtower. That's a nice structure. Sturdy, reliable, useful. I keep telling myself this over and over. Mm -mm. My boys are trained uh, to see quite well in this mist. They'll support you in battle, and uh, if you're within crossbow's reach, and the civilians will sleep better at night, I can guarantee their safety. All right. Let's try a rogue run. I had negative 97% HP. <laughs> no, I want the ruins. I like the ruins. Try the maze? Not yet. Not yet. But we got to get rid of the bookery. What else do I want rid of? I guess I don't need rocks for just killing everything. Nah, I don't need rocks. But I have to take either rocks... I guess I'll take meadows. Alright. Let's try it. Even less health. We'll get plenty of health. Plus three HP for every... Wait, is this not max HP? Oh wait, do slime slimes don't have a soul. That's why. Here. Slimes don't have a soul. Yeah, I could try meadows and desert. Let's try it, actually. Let's try a 3x3 three three with meadows in the middle. Just for funsies. Mm -hmm. So let's see how these crossbows work. Crossbowman. Nice. That's actually pretty dope. Alright. Let's see what we got for gear here. Take that. Take the max HP. Actually, take the attack speed. Attack speed's gonna be our main stat over damage. We need as much attack speed as we can possibly get, so that way we can just slaughter them before they can do anything. Ideally, I get the kill before they can actually attack. Okay, we'll put you there glass cannon build. I'm curious if it could work. I've got a plus one res, so if shit hits the fan, I'll probably be fine. Nah, I don't want to oblivion anything. 
All right, that's counter and evasion. That's got more attack speed. That's just more damage. Counter might be better. I don't know. We'll have to see. On the skeleton every three days. Alright. I guess counter wouldn't really make much sense with low HP. He whacks me with his quiver! <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. What's the bag do? Alright, so the way that he works is that instead of getting gear on kill, he gets gear at the campfire. He gets one trophy every time I get a kill. Right? And then I turn them all in when I get to town. And that gives me one gear per, per trophy, essentially. Nope, didn't do anything. That makes me sad. Wolf, come, Rat Wolf, come, Rory. With me, Rory. With me. Attack and evasion. Go the uh Yeah. Actually we'll take that instead. Evasion bonus. I'm gonna need a lot of evasion. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Resurrect! I'm not dead yet, bitch! I don't think lowered max HP is very good on the rogue. In fact, I think it's the complete opposite. I think it is in fact the complete opposite. So anyway, I just started spamming more deserts. Because I kind of want to escape with this knife. We're going to put that on for more max HP. There we go. Heal me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. All right, let's escape with our resources. Yeah, I don't think I don't think low HP uh, rogue is a very good idea. Oh. <laughs>
No. There we go. Let's build the forest. Oh, okay. Let's build it over here, I guess. Wow. It's a forest. Yep. A forest. Solid wood. It's truly unbelievable. Yeah. I get it. I know what a forest is. A shining example of perennial evergreen flora. Are you making fun of me? That's how a log or plank looks before it dies. So exciting. Yes, you're definitely making fun of me. Unlocks the forest and thicket cards. All right. War camp. Oh, I can build more. Uh, an obstacle course with the training dummies and grumpy old war veteran. Enough to make you live a bit longer in battle. Increases the hero strength by 4%. Unlocks the outpost card. Lumberjack. After an expedition, it gives you one splinter for every completed loop, but no more than the amount of tiles the lumberjack hunt. Uh, around the lumberjack hut. Okay. Mm, unlocks the ability to craft furniture if the supply depot is built. Literally have to get the supply depot to get to here, though. Alchemy table. Uh, unlocks alchemy. Unlocks the ability to craft jewelry. Unlocks the zero milestone golden card if Intel Center is built. Cool. All right, uh, supply. I think I'm gonna take that over one armor. Yeah, just go ahead and dismantle that one. All right, well, let's see what these uh, cards are. Go on an expedition here. Forest and thicket, 1% hero attack speed. I wonder if meadow and, how meadow and forest work together. Oh yeah, is there anything I can upgrade? Uh, no. Nothing I can upgrade. Forest plus desert. Although forest plus desert with necromancer could be actually incredibly powerful. That way you attack extremely fast to go along with your, you know, zero HP. Crypt is killing you, by the way. Remove HP bonus from armor. I don't think it's killing me. I think it's just... I think it's fine. Yeah. It was on Rogue? I don't think it's that bad, actually. Alright, let's try it out again. Actually, we should try Warrior at some point, but now let's do Rogue. Well, all right, well, let's begin. Yeah, I got no HP from the armor. Forest, 1% hero attack speed. Okay. Alright. Thought I wasn't doing Desert Rogue. We're trying Desert Rogue with attack speed up. I have a feeling it'll be better. Spiders are going to kill me again? Probably. 
They probably are. What if I put a vampire next to the campfire? Pick it. 2% attack speed. Now I wonder if I make a... A little thing here, if anything will work with that. Vampiric spiders? What could possibly go wrong with vampiric spiders? Alright, let's take some evasion bonus. More evasion bonus. More attack. Okay. So we're going to want as much evasion as we can possibly get. Yeah. Max evasion build. Max evasion and attack speed. Why does the rogue get an ally? Uh, everybody gets an ally. If they fight next to the campfire, I get an ally, essentially. That assists me in battle. They don't really do a lot, but they're nice. They at least do something. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's get some ruins down. And we're just going to get rid of the spiders, because I don't think the spiders are going to be that helpful. I don't know if there's any adjacency bonus yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. Better evasion. Better damage. Better evasion. Uh, better damage. Okay. <laughs> Blood Golem's pretty much dead with their free hit. Oh yeah, I guess they do always get a free hit. We'll see how we work around with that. We'll see how we work around it. Alright. It's weird having this much attack speed. Bum, 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 bum. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, what do we want? Building gives me XP. And then we get the XP, baby. Wait, let me get a loop first and then do it. Let me get a loop and then we build. Loop, brother. Pick it. Forest. Pick it. Uh, blood Grove. Sand Dune. More Sand Dunes. Another Ruins. Level up. Max HP on kill. More stuff to kill. More XP. Let's throw in a Vampire because I have little to no fear. And then I'm going to delete that, because I actually have one fear, and that's dying. So now I get 4 HP a kill.
Now I get 4 HP a kill. Oh yeah, I should look at the new gear. Attack and critical. We're just looking for as much evasion as possible. I guess we could also take counter, but for the most part, we just want evasion. Yeah. I'll take that counter. Because health means nothing. We literally get no HP from that stuff. My game crashed. <laughs> My game crashed. <laughs> sure? No, really. It, 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 it's dead. I was ready for death. I was prepared. I just realized it's 7 p.m. Holy crap, I've been streaming for nine hours. What? What? <laughs> what? <gasps> Excuse me? in shock. I didn't think I've been streaming this long. What? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I just, I just glance. I, I just have a little glance at the clock. I'm like, it's 7 p.m. Because I got a message. I I got a, like, I got a DM on Discord, right? I got a DM on Discord. And they were like, hey, uh, whenever you're free tonight, we need to go over that thing. And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. And then I wait. And I was like, wait, what do you mean tonight? What time is it? Oh, my God, it's 7. What? All right, we're playing more of this tomorrow. We're playing more of this tomorrow, chat. Chat, this is a sign of a good game. Tomorrow, we loop even harder! Thank you so very much for watching today's stream. If you enjoyed today's stream, do me a favor and hit the follow button. I'd love to see you back here again. Or if you didn't like the stream, hit the follow button anyway, because you'll do what I say, maybe. Maybe. Also, exclamation mark announcement. I'm becoming a VTuber. I am becoming a VTuber. It's real. April 2nd. April 2nd. Am I using a voice changer? My voice will come from the panda. Sam is mute. Sam is mute. But I will be the panda. Why not April 1st? Two reasons. I didn't want people to make a make the joke of <laughs> is this a joke? And also because it's Thursday and I don't stream on Thursday. <laughs> Rudy, Mike muted. <laughs> You know, I just read a comp. You, you know, you know. Sometimes I read Twitch chat. Sometimes I read Twitch chat, and my brain literally can't comprehend what the fuck I just read. And it was that Sam is just a weird-looking tumor coming out of the panda's ass. And because I read that, you all now have to think about that as well.
You all have to think about that now. Ugh. Anyway. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I'm going to run six minutes of ads, and then I'll be gone. Everybody, thanks for watching.